Good evening, Samantha. Welcome back to the stream. My name is Arx underscore Hydra. We are playing more Baldur's Gate 3 tonight because we have beaten the game, but with such a sprawling branching game, we have a lot to discuss. And more than a week ago, last Monday, when I finished it, we had already been on much later than I intended. So tonight, we have a couple experiments to do, questions to answer. I think there's probably enough to fill the usual sort of stream runtime. If, by any chance, we finish with a significant amount of time left, um, apparently the Pale Reach DLC for Dredge is like an hour and a half to two hours. So we could try doing that. While you guys fish up the last two you just couldn't get in lurk bait or something that we'll see what happens we'll play it by ear how are you all doing i hope you've had a fantastic day i uh sorry this didn't happen on sunday like i originally planned but my throat was sort of killing me sunday um and yesterday and a bit today it's it's gotten a lot better though i'm not even sure i was sick it didn't feel strained at the end of Saturday, despite Saturday being a long stream. Thank you everyone who could make it. It was a ton of fun. And even if you couldn't, thank you so much for being a part of the channel. We're celebrating my anniversary this past Saturday, and whether you were at that specific stream or not, it's been wonderful to have all of you. Um, I didn't feel strained by the end of that stream, but it's hard to say that doesn't seem the likely cause, given that I don't feel ill other than that. But also, it took a couple days to like start feeling better. Very odd. Very odd. What's up, Lauren, Thomas Epsilon, Rogue, how are you doing? Hranar, Exploderberry, Queen Shoujo, Mambo. How is everybody this evening? Or day? Or late in the night? Or tomorrow, compared to my time zone, depending on where you are in the world. Evening, Hydra and Samantha. Hello, everybody. And we're so back. Today, you defended Elden Beast, or defeated? I thought he defended. Elden Beast in level 1, finally. Well done! GG. Impressive. Hey Hydra, Samantha, Kitty Overlords. Here, ready to be angry, let's go. Yes, give in to the dark side, Shoujo. Good afternoon, Hydra. Oh, I need to get something, thinking of kitties. 11 plus hours of talking can still do a number on you? It can. It can. I'll be right back, one moment. Okay. My nonsensical poor decision arrived. I own a crystalline panther from the famous French glasshouse Lalique. It's all mine and will remind me of the one I gave up for no clear reason. It is also a huge concern where I put it. Because as I've said many times, my cats are reaching that level of comfort and trust where they are willing to knock anything off of anything in this apartment. So I put it up on the highest shelf of my ladder bookcase, which would seem safe, except that they regularly pull. Um, I've never seen them do this. I don't know how they get there. Sorry, hit the mic with it. I, they regularly pull the crocheted penguin I made, ZD, off the shelf just below where this one sits. But I've never seen them even move anything on the shelf above, so who knows? Anyway, got it. It's beautiful. I rather love it. Maybe it should sit here. This desk is much bigger than the shelf. They would have to... In fact, there's sort of like a stop gap at the back of... Um, one moment. Okay, there we go. The joint of the mic arm is gone. There's sort of like a backstop of cables and shit. They couldn't push off that way. And then this way, it would have to go over the entire mouse pad. I wonder where it's safest. I wonder where. <laughs> Been a long week already, I'm sorry to hear that Explodeberry. For you, it was just 10-ish hours of typing exclamation point fish non-stop. You and many others. Last time you saw a glass panther, it fell on your dad's face while he slept, shelf below the bed. 
there's more than one glass panther in the world. I mean, there's more than one of these specific ones, but there's more than one style of them. Or did you happen to have a Lalik glass panther? Hope your dad was okay. Can we crowdfund Ash making a glass panther song to the tune of Rock Lobster? I mean, I would love to have that too. To that or an original tune. Um, we'll have to talk with Ash and see. What's up, Starfish? Good to see you. It's beautiful. How are you? I'm doing well. How are you, Fair Cry? Chilling with the doggos while working on art homework. Very nice. This is the first Baldur's Gate 3 stream you caught, and you're only on part 5, so you have no idea how far Wet Floor has come. I have beaten the game. We are doing post-game discussion today because there are a couple very contentious decisions and outcomes from my playthrough that we are going to talk about what effect they had, what I missed, what I could have or should have done differently. Today we are we are having a discussion about how Baldur's Gate 3 went. And I've got a couple sort of guidelines as to what you can tell me and what you shouldn't tell me, but we're going to do our usual guess the game and then get into it. So you're going to have to wait a little while to hear those rules. Don't tell me anything yet. I know a lot of you have been holding these ideas and opinions. Some of them are opinions, remember, before you chew me out for a long time, but you got to wait just a little longer. Can we see, a, can we get a See the Glass Panther H-Bucks reward? I guess if I keep it on my desk, that would be pretty easy to do. I guess. Don't hold on to opinions. You let them out. Are we starting off with the memorial or are you prolonging it more? Uh, that will be one of the earliest things during the game playing portion of the stream, but we have to guess games before we play games. That's the way it goes. Like letting a certain character cough pass into the afterlife. Mega Man Command Mission. Let's see how likely it is that you're right. I'll just get out of your way here and turn on Guess the Game. And look at that. It's not very likely that's a Mega Man game. I can't say no for certain because I don't have a guess what it is. Not what I'm really confident of, but unlikely to be Mega Man. I'm thinking Dragon Age 2. Resident Evil 4 Remake. Thoughts? Anyone? How did Wet Floor deal with Raphael? We'll talk about that when we get there. But the short answer is, didn't. The reason why is not the most interesting thing, but there was a reason why, a mistake I made in thinking. But, but the answer is, didn't. So. You guess Battletoads for all three games there, we've guessed. Looks like the RE4 remake kinda. I have agreement on RE4 remake, let's try it. Resident Evil. Four, um, do they list them separately? They don't. Well, I'm just gonna say four and hope it knows I mean the remake. Submit, it is not RE4. Metacritic score 79%. I never saw anything like this in Dragon's Dogma 2, but I played a very, very small portion of it. And this really could be it. This, I don't know, maybe, well, actually, what's this little white dot? What's this little white dot? Do I remember that showing up on anything I could open or gather in the game? I'm trying to fight for my second guess, but I don't really have any reason to that I can think of. Samantha, what do you think it is? Hogwarts Legacy, not Legacy, Far Cry, maybe a Dark Souls type, could be Banishers of New Eden. This looks so familiar. DG2, DG2? I don't think Skyrim looked this good. Star Wars? What, do you think like Jedi Survivor or something? Is that the name of the second one? Whichever the second one was. You think it's that? Could be Monster Hunter World. Yeah, it could be. Could be. Jedi Survivor? Outer Worlds? We have no agreement on anything yet. None at all. Okay, I'm gonna say Monster Hunter World. Monster Hunter World, guess. It's not Monster Hunter World. Original platform, PS5, PC, and the Xbox Series consoles. Gollum? No, I have no clue. Uh, we have some sort of broken banner 208 meters away. Gollum? No clue. No clue. Would guess Skyrim, but the first photo shows a lot of detail in the clothes, so my guess is DG2. What is DG2? I don't recognize the acronym. 
This is stream where we do whatever Hydra's plans for Astarian were because then you have to watch live. Late because of stressful phone call, resetting to Samantha mode. Sorry, the phone call is stressful. Glad you made it through. It's over now. Hope you're having a good day otherwise. Shadow of Mordor, possibly, or Shadow of Mordor. You were asking, not stating. I just needed to see another image, so I was happy to try it as a guess. No worries. No worries. Dishonored. I don't remember Dishonored having like having like well i'm assuming this is an incredibly cloudy sky with like there seems to be cloud like like smoke not just clouds near as well as far given this rising tower but i'm making a lot of assumptions because this is not at all clear i can't tell the scale of what i'm looking at so dragon's dogma 2 dragon's dogma let's go ahead and try dragon's dogma 2. dragon's dogma 2 is not yet on their list, so it can't be that. And I don't think the first game looked this good. It cannot be Dragon's Dogma 2. It's not been added yet. All right, Shadow of Mordor away. Middle Earth, Shadow of Mordor. Actually, with the look of this, would it be Shadow of War? Because it's more recent. Gollum. Shadow of Mordor. It's not Shadow of Mordor, it's an action RPG. We have... We have a somewhat ornate rifle. There's plaid here and leather. Um, With this up here, this weird like banner with a slash through it sort of icon. Uh, what the hell would this be? Um. It, uh, 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 oh, oh, Nightingale? Immortals of Avium. Immortals of Avium, I don't think, looks like this. Uh. It is Banishers. Is Banishers like the couple? The man and his ghostly wife? I can believe that. You were on Banishers earlier. Let's try Banishers. You were 100% right. Well done. Banishers, Ghosts of New Eden. This got pretty good reviews. From what I read, reviewers seem to agree it falls down here and there, but never enough to like wreck the game, just enough to keep it from being incredible. What it does well, it does very well. Yeah, I saw pretty good to great reviews for this game. Nicely recognized. Well done. Good shit. Why is this all stretched out? Marcy Bachelor, Ascend, Banish, Hugh Bachelor, Blame. Delightful choices there. I think it's a sequel to L.A. Noir. Well, prequel given the medieval setting. Let's do a couple previous days. Zoom, 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 zoom. Day six, twelve. Samantha, what game is this? I never even said our rules. Our rules are: if you know the answer, if you're certain, don't give us your guess. It's not really a guess, then, is it? Just to give other people a chance to throw their answers out there, make it last a little bit longer. But you're welcome to be super smug and go, I know what this is. And I'll come back to you by image number six if we haven't gotten it by then, because I do not want to lose our streak. Now, anyone less than absolutely certain, what do you think this is? And anyone who is absolutely certain, tell me how smug you are. Knew you recognize that rifle? Noise. Obra Din looks like the Blue's Clues house, but abandoned. This game is called Paper the Rainy Page. Totally kidding. I sure don't know. Let's try Oberdin. I think Oberdin has more like sort of even stippling than this, but I've never played it. So I'm just trying to remember what the screenshots looked like. Okay, it's not Oberdin. Metacritic score 79%. We have some banner on a pole here, some moon, a lot more color. Um, I don't know, it looks highly stylized. What does Slay the Princess look like? I've heard people talk about it, but I don't know anything about it. Could it be that? Just as like a recent game they might have put on there on on Guess the Game? Stars inside the crescent moon? Oh, that used to bother the shit out of me when I was younger. I've I've calmed down, but it's wrong, obvious. It's wrong. But I've learned to let go of many things like that. It doesn't look like Slay the Princess? Fair enough. Fair enough. Maybe Fran Bow? Rudyard Kipling horror. 
How the hell did you get a camera in my house? Is Franbo the name of a game? Is it one word? They don't have it if that's the name of a game. Never let go be powered by smite. It's not fun for me. I never learned to manage my anger as a kid, or at least I don't feel I did, Samantha. So I, I did my best to stop being angry or annoyed about anything, which was equal measures good and bad. You know, anger is a perfectly valid emotion. Learning to avoid it was good in a lot of situations. Not everything. Skill issue. Have we tried FIFA 2014? We have not tried FIFA 2014. We tried FIFA 2012 and 2013, but we sort of left off after that. Should we have kept going? I've got no clue. Um, Banner of the Maid. Oh, original platform PS3, PS4, PC, Xbox 360, Xbone, and mobile. I think I know what this is based on this image and this image alone. And only because I've seen screenshots of the game and it has a particular art style. In fact, I didn't think the art style stretched to this. This is interesting, but I can believe it. I think I know what it is. The World War One one? Yes, I believe it is a World War One emotional game. Anger is a very narrow iframe window. Trying to practice using it mindfully to get the stress out. You're thinking one and three will look like that war side scroller, but two does not? Exactly. I hadn't come I hadn't thought of that on image one, but now I've seen this. This fits in with what I'm thinking. This, like I said, I can believe it, but I never would have guessed. Valiant Hearts, that is exactly the title in my mind. Valiant Hearts. The Great War is what it is. Nicely recognized, Samantha. Go team. Adventure, platform, puzzle. Really? I thought it was sort of like a visual novel type thing. I, I I know very little about Valiant Hearts, it turns out. Originally released in 2014 by Ubisoft Montpellier SAS. This is made in uh, it's Montpellier, France. Not Montpellier, Vermont. In fact, it's probably not called Montpellier, where they made it. Next! Let's do one more previous day, Samantha, and then we will get to our scheduled program. 6.13. What is this? We have casino stuff. I see dice down. Why can't I find them now that I'm mousing over? There we go. I have to mouse way off to one side of them. There's dice over here. Thoughts? For some reason, it reminds me of a Pokemon gym from one of the Switch Pokemon games. Just the level of graphics. But I don't think any of them were like a casino with martinis on the wall and stuff like that. So, I'm just saying, it feels like that level of graphics. Persona or Catherine? You're 70, 30 sure? Stray gauze just for fun? You know this? Hell yeah. Hollow Knight? You know what this is? Pokemon? I'm actually interested in Persona. As soon as I read Brad saying that, that seems likely. Persona 3. It is not a Persona game. Metacritic score 85% and all of a sudden we have a truck and a snowed over sign and shit? What just happened? What? <laughs> well, that changed very suddenly. Interesting. Lollipop Chainsaw? You think they make the main character of Lollipop Chainsaw go out in this weather the way she's dressed? Probably, because I don't think they have any real sort of, like, respect for their character. That's harsh. I've never played the game. But, like, look at her and think about the era of gaming it comes from. I don't know anything about Lollipop Chainsaw. <laughs> Pokemon's known for promoting alcohol and gambling in their games and animal fights. Cod? 199 sure? Wait, Shoto, do, it, does that mean you're less sure or more sure? When you said 70-30, I took the 70 as you were 70% confident you knew it. Oh, all confidence died. Okay, so I did read it right. I just read the second message, the tone of the second message wrong. I'm caught up. I'm caught up now. Death Parade, anime, not game. I've watched anime the past two nights, so I've seen a lot of anime recently in exactly one series. And it's not that much compared to people that watch anime regularly. But 
I watched the JJK movie, Jujutsu Kaisen Zero, and the first arc of season two. The, uh, what is it? Hidden Inventory, the flashback arc at Star Season 2. Enjoying that. The movie was good. I'm used to anime movies when they say, oh, this series has a movie. The movie just being like set somewhere vaguely near the end of the series, but not after it, but also having no interaction with the series. Like the Cowboy Bebop movie that comes between the penultimate episode and the last episode and has no bearing on anything that happens in the series. I'm used to that being the norm. The JJK movie is very important to the events of the series but it also stands alone quite well in fact i think the movie works very well without the series if someone was going to watch it that way I, I would guess that works season two seems like it would be hard to get into immediately without watching the movie anyway or the inuyasha movies they were the same way New Pork City, Earthbound, no idea. I really have no guesses either. Let's try a lollipop chainsaw for fun. I need to see another image. Okay, is it with an eye? It is with an eye. It's not lollipop chainsaw. It is a PC, PS4, an X-Bone game. This, I sw if we had more resolution, this would be more helpful. It looks like a sort of tactics game. Could it be mercenaries? That was a top-down, real-time sort of strategy tactics thing, right? Hey, what's up, Lollipop? Good to see you. Hope you're having a good one, friendo. What perfect timing. What perfect timing. Well, now, Xbone. Hey, they wanted so badly for people not to say that, and I will never not say that. They sent out so many press releases to, like, journalists and stuff. I remember because one journalist leaked it. I'm not sure it counts as a leak because I don't know if they're not meant to be, like, public. I think they do release them publicly. They just do it in places where the public doesn't usually see them. One journalist posted the press release that said it was like the second one they ever did about the X-Bone saying like never write X-Bone always write Xbox One or X1 as one thing and they were specific about capitalization ridiculous ridiculous the expendable one Frostpunk oh Skyrim of course how silly of me is that a game Brad that is a game but if this is it never made it far enough in a playthrough just got here I really want to try mercenaries something. Mercenaries, mercenaries, um, mercenaries. Uh, oh, never mind. I'm losing, I'm losing confidence looking at these names because they're all out of order, which shouldn't throw me, but it's throwing me completely. Remedium. Do you know a game called Remedium? They don't know a game called Remedium. It doesn't matter. Hmm. All right, I'm going to say mercenaries. Mercenaries. It's not a mercenaries game, but we have a new image. It's an adventure, an RPG, and a turn-based strategy. You can get a light machine gun turret. Uh, is that Gipper? Draft D? What is that? I don't understand what's happening. I guess that's a character's name or maybe their class. I really don't know this. Any possible guesses I had have been left behind. We have three guesses to get this right, and I'm not at all confident. Lethal Company, Bootleg XCOM, Minecraft. Seems like the vein of XCOM, but not that. Wasteland 3. Is Wasteland a turn-based strategy game? Oh, I put the E in the wrong place for Wasteland. Wasteland 3. It is Wasteland 3! I thought the Wasteland games were third-person action. Don't know why? Never seen one. Well done, Brad. It's Wasteland 3. The streak lives on. Released in 2020, developed by Inexile Entertainment. How is this game rated anyway? After this gift plays once? That tank looks like it should have done more to them, but I guess it was just firing what looked like a smallish machine gun. Spraying a freezing ray? Interesting. I should play more tactics games. Why do I think that? No, I should just, I should play XCOM at some point. XCOM 2. So many people have recommended it to me. I should someday try XCOM 2. Not generally play more tactics games. Had an 85% well reviewed. No, 79 was the last one that we were looking at. Boulder's French Door. <laughs> 
All right, Samantha, that means we have done 641 puzzles in one 641 puzzles, meaning our win rate is 100%. We are the supreme screenshot savants. And it will be about 20 streams before we rank up again. But that's okay, because supreme screenshot savant is quite the name. I like it. Let me tell you the schedule this week, and then we will get to our feature entertainment. Um, I am pretty much free the normal sort of schedule this week. And after taking off uh, uh, Sunday unexpectedly to rest, I was going to do the whole thing, but I still feel a bit out of it. We're going to go ahead with the resting schedule that I talked about on Saturday. So I'm streaming tonight. I am not streaming tomorrow. I will be streaming Armored Core 6 on Thursday. And I will be streaming something, Armored Core 6 or something else, on Sunday. All times, 6 p.m. U.S. Eastern. The reason I say or something else is, this is the last stream of Baldur's Gate 3 for the moment. We need to talk about what I should play next. Armored Core 6 is going to end soon. We need to pick up probably two new games. But at least one. The big headlines spend a while on them possibilities are... Or hang on, I can remember them. God of War Ragnarok, Alan Wake 2, and Red Dead Redemption 2. But I'm open to other suggestions, especially the possibility of something that might take just a week or two, or even just a stream, before we start on another big, sprawling, epic adventure. Sniper Elite 5, XCOM, oh, and by the way, for anyone who wasn't here just a bit earlier, I got my Crystal Panther. And let me tell you, holding it, it feels worth it. If you don't think about what it costs, I'm so pleased to have this stupid thing. It is so... I love it. It's so stupid, and I love it. It arrived really rapidly. And they made goddamn sure that it was like... Okay, so this came in a foam-filled black, you know, like, thing wrapped with Lalique ribbon and so on to look quite nice. And then, that, that already added, like an inch and a half to two inches of foam all around it. Great. But to ship it, they didn't just like do one more layer of bubble wrap and then a box. They did a box that was a foot and a half by a foot and a half by a foot and a half cube filled, filled with uh, that nice biodegradable or recyclable like cardboard um, sort of paper. I can't describe it, but you know what I mean? The stuff they're using to replace bubble wrap that's made entirely of paper. Oh. They made damn certain it arrived in one piece, and good for them. Hell yeah. You vote Ragnarok? Sekiro? I would love to play Sekiro again sometime. I would be open to the idea. I'm not sure if I feel it right now, but I really want to. It's been so long since I played it. Yeah. Finishing Tears of the Kingdom is definitely on my list, but here's the thing. I, I, I'm, I'm, I probably won't do that next just because I have some thoughts about how to return to it and they're not fully formed, and I want to give them a little time in case I can think of something very fun. Uh, that's, that's, I know that's not the most satisfying reason, but that's how I feel about that game right now. But I absolutely mean to get back to it, I just can't tell you when. Far Cry 3, finally! Sniper Elite 5 just took you like 12 or 13 hours. Let me talk with Mondo, because he really wants to play that game with me. Maybe we could do one or two streams of that with him. He's on vacation this week. Hmm. Let me talk with him a bit. Okay, Samantha, as many of you know, we had a long and rocky journey through Baldur's Gate 3 in my first playthrough, and not every outcome was super satisfying, and some of you are fucking mad at me, and I'm hoping today to maybe, you know, stop being yelled at, or at least so much. So let's talk about Baldur's Gate 3, all right? First things first. I need you to imagine 40 years after the events of Baldur's Gate 3, okay? When my character has grown older, wiser, more tired, and has not retired, but wet floor, along with Karlak, lives out his days in the country, in a giant estate which long hosted raucous parties, celebrations, and state guests at huge decorated hall festivities because of his fame and honor and so on. 
people would come from far and wide to ask him, Karlak, the rest of their party. Uh, Karlak, really, I mean, she was the main character, as we talked about. To come help them with their problems, to tell tales of their adventures, and sort of annually, he still goes out for a little bit of this and that adventure, but it's become more about staying home and partying, and even the parties have begun to let off and quieten, and fewer guests come around each year. It's a relaxing, slow slide into retirement for an adventure, right? And at one of these parties, right before the weekend, I'm pretty sure they had weekends in medieval times, there's some music playing, there's some food going around, the rain and storm is coming down outside, but everyone's warm and happy inside. And there comes a loud crash of the door being pushed open by a traveling entertainer with a large cart behind them. And very quickly, Wet Floor's guards are up into the door because this is a little out of the ordinary. But the person looks harmless. Wet Floor and Karlak wave the guards away. And the guards let the person enter and come forward and introduce themselves. And there's some nice conversation. They share tales of the road. They do several tricks. And after, say, 30, 40 minutes of this, as everyone has settled back into calm, they've offered food to this new guest and so on, the guest asks if he could approach the throne to have a quiet word with the heroes of Baldur's Gate. Intrigued, Karlak beckons him forward. Wet Floor nods assent as well. And the man comes up and leans in close, and they realize there's something striking about his features that's difficult to see in the dim light. The eyes seem to glow with an inner energy, Though round of face, the person is very beautiful with striking features, and their clothes are of perfect make with gold woven in here and there. They are a much higher class of entertainer than they first believed when they saw them burst in unannounced and show off these petty tricks, the kind that anyone might have traveling out on the road to show at the local tavern and so on. And they lean in close and they say, it has been so long that I've waited to meet you heroes of legend. And Wet Floor, of course, they're used to hearing this all the time. But the person continues, I came not to ask of you not to hear your tale because I've heard it sung in every tavern from here to Om and beyond. I have nothing I need of you. I am only curious, deeply curious. And their eyes seem to glow a little literally brighter, not just with energy. And Wet Floor raises one eyebrow, lightly touches one gold lip, looks over to Karlak. Karlak still seems comfortable with this, and so Wet Floor thinks she can read minds, she knows what's going on. Why not? And nods that he continues. And this strange man says, I only want to ask, in all your grand adventures, if there's anything you would have done differently. Wet Floor seems momentarily taken aback. So odd is this question. His whole life has been the more obvious, what was it like to fight atop the nether brain? Why did you, every single strategy you came up with seem to involve globe of invulnerability? Which I thought the answer would be obvious, but people are gonna ask their questions. Once more, he looks to Karlak. Karlak nods lightly, seemingly comfortable with this as well. And Wet Floor thinks very carefully. And underneath, he's still doing all of his makeup. Underneath the, the heavy eye shadow and the beautiful painted sort of horns coming out from the corners of his eyes and the golden lipstick already mentioned, his face falls a bit, his lip trembles. And he says quietly to this man, Star. And this strange figure straightens up immediately with a grin from ear to ear and raises one hand into which the entire world seems to draw and everything, everything, everything fades to black. Sound fades away with it. But moments later, you can hear the city of Baldur's Gate again. And as if opening his eyes, though he doesn't remember closing them, suddenly, 
Wet floor is his young self again, standing just outside Cazador's palace beside Starion. So I'm going to need your help to do this right this time, because I still don't have any idea what to do differently. Well, let's get in into the battle first. The DM worked real hard on this session's intro. No, I ran out of time to write it. I, <laughs> I mean, I had a couple ideas ahead of time, but I meant to write something and I didn't have time today. So. I would save my boy, a starry and wet floor says, basically. Still mad? Well, I haven't saved him yet. Um, let's see. Do I have anything I need to cast before we go in? And by the way, I had a quick save right before the fight. This is when I've learned, just today is when I've learned, quick saves disappear after a time. That's the difference between a quick save, an auto save, and a real save. Quick and auto go away. Shouldn't have wished to live in more interesting times. So that sucks. Mm, I don't seem to have anything that I used to cast at this time. Shadowheart, did you? You didn't have, like, feast or anything. We didn't have those level of spells. I guess we'll just go in. I guess we'll just go with the usual. Um, um, oh, do we need a long rest first? Hang on. Let's do a quick long rest. I just noticed I have, like, no fucking spell slots. Would you like guidance on entering the fight, Hydro? First of all, pomegranates. What do I need to do on my way down there? Is there anything I have to make sure I get done inside the mansion? Or can I just get through the mansion as quickly as possible? To get down to that fight. You can set quick saves to not do that. Oh. How did you? Forget its rebel, I suspect. I do not. You feel the end. You're not what we're here for. Come. You're, You're not what we're here for. Unwelcome. Uh, you seem troubled. I'm this is where he hits on me, memories. right? They are relentless. I can think of nothing. No, not love, at least. You saw not love, respect, something like that. Was different from my relationship. In How my so? Life, Business partner, trusted me, merchants. Yes, yes, yes. I'm sorry for your loss. What I, most people think that mind flayers are soulless husks. Thank you for sharing that. Another quake. Okay, we're past that. We can still fuck the mind flayer. We didn't go back in time to fuck the mind flayer. A visiting demigod didn't send us back in time. No. <laughs> this was my regret. That wasn't my regret. Easiest way to save him is that you can just not bring him to the fight. We're taking him to the fight. We have to. Come on now. I'm not giving up on doing this right. And with every single, like, reaction from him I can get. He won an award for this game. Your one true regret. Not fucking that hot emperor when you had the chance. I remember there being enemies right at the top here, but... I can try and talk my way out of it or kill them again like I did last time. One or the other. But I forgot to cast Detect Thoughts, which the might be good. The God's words are clear, but spoken without yeah, 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 she's out of it. Intent. Uh, I'm inspecting the security on your master's orders. Of course. Whatever the master desires. Perfect. Pretty sure I failed that last time. Enter freely and of your own will. Ring from Goaty the Skeleton and read the book in the Cursed Room. I have no idea what skeleton you're talking about. Oh, for, why can't I? Oh, I'm not proficient with some piece of equipped armor. What did I put on that I'm not proficient with? I've got heavy armor on? Shit. At this, I, my, the only prep I did for today was I opened the save file and made sure of a couple things. And... One of the things I did was put away a bunch of robes that were sitting in my inventory without realizing, hang on, we gotta go to camp and get those out of inventory. Hang on. God damn it. What did I used to wear? Resistance to cold damage. I honestly think I used to wear this silly thing. 
I know it doesn't do anything for me, but I don't think I had anything that I felt like did anything for me. Just a bunch of medium and heavy armor I obviously can't wear. Yeah, okay, give me the ice bite robe. Perfect. Send that to camp. Alright, cool. Back out we go. Back out we go. This bodes well for a strategic battle ahead. Shut up. We're supposed to be full of emotions right now. The DM really gave this an introduction. Don't get up and get Funyuns. We're in, this is important. Pop can's money. Office summary. Not now! But sincerely, thank you so much for the gifted sub over on Twitch. Whoever you are, Anonymous, I appreciate that immensely. Thank you so much for the support. Very, very kind. Thank you on behalf of the recipient. Very, very, very kind. Renner, enjoy. Getting no ads. Your emotes, etc. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, now we can cast this thing. And this thing. There's a key here. Let's grab that just in case. We're going to devote an entire stream to figuring out just this one fight, aren't we? No, I'm just going to let you tell me how to do it. However, do not tell me now. I won't remember by the time we get down there. You have to tell me piece by piece as we go. But feel free to tell me within the bounds of where I already am. I don't need answers like, oh, well, the best way to do it is in act two, make sure to like send a letter to Cazador about setting his clocks forward. So he accidentally gets up, no, goes to bed too late and stays out in the sun because he's an idiot and dies. That stuff like that won't help me. Step one, organize your inventory. Okay, you're not allowed anymore. So, God damn you. Adam Sopar is stressing me out. I don't worry about it. Oh, did it just unlock? Is that the click I heard? If you just listened to Shoujo, has done this fight three times, it won't take all night. In the Cursed Room, read the book by the bedside table. I remember the Cursed Room. Let's go do that. Cursed Room, I believe, is down these stairs. Do I need to talk to anyone else? I remember a dead werewolf and stuff. That's all sort of like flavor. What we are here for is to get through this fight with a Starion alive so we can hear his speech after. So I don't need all the flavor stuff again unless it has some effect on that. Do I need a key to this room? I do not. Okay. Open up. Entering turn-based mode. Am I? Uh, you. Do you have remove curse or did I use scrolls? I think I used scrolls. Because I think you have it, but you don't have it set up. Right? Right? I think it was something like that. No, that's about Aberration Celestials. Yeah, show me the uh, icon for that. Curse. Scroll remove curse. It is blue slash through it. You don't have anything that color, do you? Nope. Okay, then. You can prepare spells out of combat. I've got scrolls. We'll be fine. Not enough movement. Great. Can you jump over to her with your incredible strength? Now, can you cast it? Beautiful. Exit turn based mode. Looking ahead. If not over. Where's this book? Victoria have it? No, that's the letter about her father or whatever, right? This is silver cake stand. Guests. I don't think them here until Casador appeared and took them away. No one ever died here, though. Easy game. Something Easy game. That oh, that was an unnatural 20. This is not what we need, however. I'll take it. What do you do? When the wearer has half hit points or less, they have an additional bonus action. Dex saving throws plus one. That could be good for you. I haven't even taken a look at what you're wearing right now. You currently have plus one bonus to saving throws against spells. While obscured, the number you need to roll crits is reduced by one. Effect can stack and con saving throws. 
Additional bonus action would be would be would be another dash or hide for him. Um I wonder if you can be obscured down in that area where we're gonna fight, because then the one he's currently wearing is probably better. Don't know. Don't know. None of that was the book though. None of that was the book though. Open up. Oh look, someone who can actually lockpick. Is Minsk here? No, we don't have Minsk yet. What are you talking about? Oh, my sweet little star, how I've missed hearing your voice. Deliria's journal, is this what I need to read? Before I was Deliria, vampire spawn slave to Kazador Zar. I was Dr. Deliria, physician general to the parliament of Baldur's Gate. Spawner now, I'm still Dr. Deliria, will not submit to his lowly status. The others say vampirism is a curse, but in my educated opinion, it's a disease and therefore must be vulnerable to medical treatment. I believe a massive infusion... Tino, thank you so much for the raid. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the stream. My name's Arx underscore Hydro, and I'm playing Baldur's Gate 3, a game I've beaten, but I had to load an old save because everyone was yelling at me for letting a character die, so we're going to try and do better at that. What was your ultimate opinion on Blown Away? Did you beat it, actually? That's most important. Before you go off to rest, just let me know. Did you finish the game? Thank you so much for the raid. Samantha, all of you should be following Tino at twitch.tv slash badweed. That's B-A-D-W-I-I-D. Fantastic streamer. Good friend of mine. Um, Spawner, no, I'm still Dr. Deliria. In my educated opinion, disease. Believe in massive infusion of fresh, youthful blood. Yes, yes, yes. This does not help me with the thing. Um, pomegranates, when you said cursed room, did you mean this room, or did you mean down in the under dungeon area, there was that room with, like, the long scroll and a table and thing? Oh, this room. Okay, so, I'm just gonna keep looking. This room. Ah! Kazakura Dictionary. Gotcha. I remember this part of this now. Read. Dictionary of Ancient Kozakoran Language from the Distant Land of Karator. Flipping through the pages, you find certain words and phrases underlined. Open, enter, beware, forbidden, sealed. Also, all the dirty words. Hardly surprising for a vampire's lair. Beat it early by accident, using this Gale to go boom, everything. the first interaction with the big brain. There's... I want to experiment with that, too. I should still have a save where I can do that in the middle of a fight somewhere. Uh, so now do I need to go up? Pomegranates, do I need anything from the skeleton in here, or do I just need to go to the door? Which is it? <laughs> he didn't go back through and murder a Starian at each save. Yeah, not everyone is equally a fan of a Starian. You need the key from the skelly. The ring? The ring? Oh, is it a ring? Um, do I know enough to get it from him, or am I going to be talking to him early because I remember I read the thing on like the guy's desk upstairs first last time. Well, let's just go in here real quick. Hey, bud. I smell a tr I know you're there, Golly. Stop skulking and show yourself. You always were sharp, little one. Yes, I remember Gotti. Okay. Gotti, Gotti, Gotti now. Um uh, we're better at deception. Not sure a Starian will like this, but we're better at deception, so... Deceive. I was asked to bring a Starian here. I'm delivering. But you're too late to see... Goaty will not open them. Casador gave me orders to open them. A Starian needs to be returned no matter what. Lay it on thick again. Ooh, critical success. Easy game. What's up, Caroline? Good to see you. Hey, Diamond, good to see you. I'm looking to see if Tino said anything about blown away. You finished it! GG, but fuck magic squares. Dude, I love mathematics, but magic squares are barely mathematics. They're not my favorite puzzles. I agree with you. Fuck magic squares. Samantha, do any of you like magic squares? Is there like rhyme and reason to them? You must have forgotten a starion was lost. Here. Here it is. Nothing specifically rude I want to say, but I appreciate the offer. Help him achieve his destiny. Sure thing, Gaudi. That's what we're here for. Received the Tsar family ring. Perfect. Okay. I have everything I need for the door now, right? Pomegranates, I have everything I need for the door. Yes? Alright, cool. Don't even need to talk to these other thralls wandering around the mansion. Fuck them. A quick save here. 
sinister door. The door is covered in intricate text, but you can't see anywhere a key might fit. Only a small round hollow engraved with a family crest. Looking closer, you recognize the writing. It's the same Kozakuran script from the dictionary you found. Press the Tsar signet ring against the hollow and read the door's inscription aloud. The ring slots perfectly into place and the door swings open. Easy game. Oh god, I forgot about all of you. Shit. I wish we still had my quick save. Well, that's not cool. Um... Hang on one second. I'm just going to give my health a little top off since it sucks. Drink one of these potions of greater healing. We're fine. We're fine. Now. Uh, this came to a fight last time. I wonder if there's any way to talk through it or if I just go for it. So if I was just going to go for it, I'd just cast a spell right now. I guess we'll just go for it. Come on, everyone. Come on up here. Does anyone want to talk to me? There we are. You can't be here. Oh, no. Mage armor, your AC is real bad, right? No. Yes, I'm not sure if I have mage armor. Never found a way to talk through here. What level did you go back to? Not sure. Kept guard dogs before. No clue. The runaway spawn. Feeling better from yesterday? I guess, yes, because you're streaming. I am. I woke up with a sore throat today, which had plagued me from uh, Sunday through yesterday. But it's gotten a lot better over the course of today, so I think I'm pretty much good again. Thanks for asking. We bring you to him. We get his favor. Yeah, I didn't have any options there. Okay, so it's not something you talk your way through. Oh god, look at that fucking... Look at that fucking set of rolls. Interesting. Um, How much health have you got? One health. The giant rats have 20 because of Savage Howl. Some of them do, some of them don't. Um, is there a scroll that would just clear out some of these that I can offer to, to, I mean, wall of fire would be a bit much. I only have one of those and I might want to use it. Uh, just something that like blows up and takes out a number of the, um, bats and things. Because I don't want Karlak to move very far and s she's not going to do a ton of damage with a spell. But if she could just hit a bunch of guys, it's fine. Difficult terrain, a little bit of damage, six meter radius. Honestly, Everett's black tentacles might be fine for the purpose. I don't see anything obviously bigger. And a scroll of ice storm. The biggest scroll of ice storm I didn't even read. I also didn't even pass the scroll over. Fucking inventory in this game. God damn inventory. Oh, it's the same as Evard's Black Tentacles. So I guess the sword doesn't matter which, though. Scroll of Ice Storm might land killing blows on a couple others. Like rats that were given bonus health. Uh, is there somewhere out here you can drop it to hit a bunch of enemies? I can't find a really gamey way to do that. Let's just do this one. That hits a bunch. Did I kill one bat? Weren't you in it? Oh no, you were. I kill one bat? Yeah, unfortunate. All right, step up here. Anyone that wants to get near my character should have to get near you. And turn. Astarian! It's been so long since we've got to fight with you by my side. Who should you attack? Should we pick out little ones? Should you kill someone big? I don't know. I don't know. It's so exciting now. What's up, Wacko? Good to see you. Oh yeah, and what level are we? We went back to, looks like everyone's level 10. For anyone curious? You have the Steel Foundry Bomb. No clue. Cutting action hide. 
Did you just fail at cutting action? Oh, because of this motherfucker or something? I remember you being a huge stupid pain. I hate how people outside of combat can see you and fuck up your hide. Hate that. I'm waiting for him to go the other way because I would like to hide and get a sneak attack in here. So I could do it on limited time if he'll just go by. There we are. Hide. And just go ahead and shoot. Who here took some damage? Uh, shoot this one for the hell of it. Um, 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 um. Yeah, let's go fast through things. Oh, it's been a while since I've had the full pleasure of fighting with you on the team. God damn. Okay. Welcome to Sands. You're gonna, gonna have, have a good, good time. Stay blind. We'll fuck you while you try to walk through traps. Hey, Hydro and Samantha. Wait, Astarian is back? Yes, baby. Lucifer, thank you so much for the prime resub in the 10 total months. I appreciate it immensely. Thank you, thank you, thank you. How is the Fisher King today? I hope you're having a fantastic one. Fish catching royalty here. Yes, we have gone back and we are experimenting, figuring out how. I say experimenting, I'm being told. How to save Astarian. That's what we're doing today. Uh, let's see. 58, 58. I'm just going to do like a bunch of resting and stuff to get through here. So I'm going to go ahead and cast high level things and use luck of the far realm. Stuff like that. Didn't realize I was going to have to move for that fucking fireball. Did you just, did you just cast a fireball where you're fucking... This is so ridiculous. Because there's just an invalid target there. All right, forget it. We're not going to hit both. Oh, we are. There we are. Go to hell, all of you. I got a tempestuous flight back here. Oh, did you just join in? That didn't happen to me the first time I did this. No worries, though. Let's see, I don't think it did. Maybe it did, and I'm forgetting. 60%, 90%. We'll take the 90. Okay, see, uh... You can walk outside the mansion in a long rest between this fight and going downstairs if you don't want to pull any punches for the fight. That's what I'm planning. That's the idea. I think Hyder wanted to make a choice, live with it, and just see it pan out differently later. Yeah, as I said at the time. I thought it added a lot to the drama of the playthrough. And, and, I don't know how to save him. <laughs> So I'm just going to ask you when we get down there. It still adds more drama to the playthrough to have to accept a dead friend. But I wouldn't have accepted it if I knew how to avoid it. We're here to do the way I wanted to play too. Should we kill the bats first? Is there some... Is there some... People keep talking about cleave. You don't have cleave? No. I just want to get go... I have... I want you all to go away, you little ones. I don't know. Does this deal any damage? No, it knocks them prone. Yeah, whatever. Uh, go ahead and frenzy. This is before you had great weapon fighting, right? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Uh, go ahead and execution of that one. So hopefully it dies in one hit. Did not. That's saddening. And did you only have two attacks right now? Yes, you only had two attacks without your frenzy bonus. Okay. Starion, you can. Um, 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 where are people looking? You can come over here. Hide. Probably one shot her. Easily. And then take an extra attack at. No, you can't use your bonus actions for that? Yeah. Forget how he plays. Charm. Prefer to know how to keep our starting out of the ritual entirely. Or would you like to know how to save him? I guess save him, as that's what happened last time. I guess save him. Love a good what if. Uh, hello there. Duverillin. You are welcome. Do you resist anything? Oh, you just resist like weaponry. You are welcome 
to enjoy this blight right to the face. Go to hell. Quicken spell. Fireball. Fuck these rats up. If I can see where to aim. Path is interrupted by what? By another rat? Aim over them. God, this is weird sometimes. That should work. Click. Good. I didn't click that. I think the fireball may have hit like a lever or something that closes the door. That's all I can imagine. All right, come out here and join your friend. Just these two remaining? Oh, okay. Suck on that. Your next playthrough will not have Jahira House in or Minsk. Can I reach you without getting an attack for opportunity? No, I can't. Then we'll just attack you. No worries. God. Pretty great weapon. Her damage is good, but not impressive. Not like, nothing to write home about. Still love having her. Still my favorite character. Damn, dude. I forgot how much of a leap in damage it was, given that she still hit so often. What with, you know, being able to, um... Where's dash? Oh, right, it's cunning dash, not regular dash. What with being able to hit most of the time anyway, because she could reckless attack. I forgot how much her damage got incredibly high. Uh, you can have Blight too, fuck it. Blight's for everybody. Easy game. Can't slow down. Easy game. Let's do a short rest without even reading what's going on. Pomegranates, do I need to loot anything in here or from the places behind and up above, or can I go straight down? Always weird restarting and seeing the like 10 HP. Yeah, yeah. Nope, straight down. Yeah. Here goes nothing. Self light and doling out damage. What's up? I'm gonna say, Skullboy. I hope you're doing well, friendo. Beautiful Good to see you. Antiquated elevator. There are some skulls Long rest outside first. Um, are there any fights between me and Casador? Pomegranates, are there any fights between me and Casador? I never knew this was here. Nope. Oh. This was always yeah, we should go out and do that quarters. then. Only he ever came in here. Well, him and the unfortunates. Let's go ahead and take that long rest real quick. There's a waypoint down below. Oh no, it's Ape. What's up, Ash? Good to see you. Keep bringing your login to this account. No worries. No worries. Uh, no pressure whatsoever. But Ape, I recently got a Crystalline Panther. Um, I'll explain some other time if you're curious. There's a reason. It's not a good one. But I have this beautiful Crystalline Panther. And there was, <laughs> early in today's stream when I was showing it off, a request for you to write a Crystal Panther song, possibly the tune of Rock Coming Lobster. On the elevator's platform, you can feel a cold draft from below. Do you have it on your lap? I have it on my desk in front of me, so that I can always see it and pet it. <laughs> Do I have to buy you a Crystal Panther? No, I already have the Crystal Panther. I've done my half of this. Should be easy enough, let's chat. Hell yeah. I need to come up with a couple ideas of things to ask you for. I don't know what your free time's like. Once again, no pressure. I need to come up with a couple ideas that you might go on in case you have free time now or soon. Um, okay, let's head back up. You cannot fast travel from this area. There's a waypoint, though. Does that waypoint not work until you clear this place out? Because I think I vaguely remember that. Let's get out of here. Need a little knitted I wool hat for the Crystal Panther? I will immediately get on practicing my crochet. Indoor Playground already wrote a B-52 style song. That's right! That's 100% right. The chat of ideas, I'll make time for you. You're much too sweet. Samantha, I can't recommend enough that you all go follow 
twitch.tv slash indoor playground, just how it sounds, I-N-D-O-O-R-P-L-A-Y-G-R-O-U-N-D. So enough for everyone, indoor playground. Friends of mine and hilarious folks, you can catch them once a week streaming, uh, you're doing Halo 1 right now, right? Streaming retro co-op games and stuff a lot of the times, sometimes odd, odds and ends, and it's always fantastically fun. Alright, let's take another long rest. Door does not open from this side. And they're pushing on it. If Gale was here, he'd be like, it's a pull rune. <laughs> but I don't know any better. I'm a sorcerer, damn it. A sorcerer. Oh, Samantha, you know, <laughs> we have another one. Are you here to hit on me again? Replaying Halo, less drunk this time. Where's Gale? Gale, is that the guy who gets Welcome stuck in those runes? Yes, it is. You did well not not fear to fuck a squid. No that comes sense. at the end of the game when my we beloved turns into a squid. We are true allies now. You led an exciting life. Why did you conceal it from me? Uh, what did you learn? I'm complex, blah, blah, blah. Well, I enjoyed our conversation. Sometimes I felt almost like we were dancing our way. I think you just read the signs. I'm fine with what we have now. Alright, done. It's happening! No, it's not. You should fuck him just for fun. No! <laughs> Come on, make this episode of what if worth it. Look. Oh, Wet Floor doesn't know if he's going to return to his timeline or if he will live forever in this world. So his heart stays true to Karlak. Maybe if he knew it was just a nothing matters, you know, enjoy yourself time, he would begin to think about it. I don't know what he would go with, but being uncertain, of course he would never. Karlak. To be down to know a pomegranate thing about the combo with the Emperor and the things he reveals and the Dalek choices. You know what? Yes. Okay. So seeing as we have just a little bit more to actually, first of all, pomegranates, what do I have to do down here prior to the, the fight? You can feel a cold what do I have to read, find, unlock in order to let Astarian be captured for the ritual and then save him during the encounter, which I presume is possible, but you can tell me that's not possible if I've got the order of things wrong. What do I need to do prior to that encounter down here? Nothing, you can just go fight, you're pretty sure. Read the scroll in the skull, okay. So I can at least lay out for you the um, sort of rules of tonight. I am quite interested in playing this game over again once or twice more for things like Dark Urge or just making completely different choices about the kind of character we play mechanically and um, 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 story-wise. So for that reason, I would like not to have... Yeah, it's like makes it possible, of course. We have to go underneath, is it? Um... Uh, I mean, uh, uh, what was I saying? For that reason, I do not want spoilers about, like, quests I never even saw, avenues that are not apparent I may have had into or out of various encounters, but branches of what I did that I missed, could have explored, stuff like that. You know, is is sort of open for discussion. Does that make some sense? I'm trusting in your judgment a little bit, Samantha, which has been dangerous in the past, but I will this time. Is there a way to to? Isn't there one of these that works on like a lot of people? Wait, hang on. Potion of flying. I can just throw this at our feet, right? Drink to gain the ability to fly. Yeah, I can just throw this at our feet if everyone gathers together, and we'll be fine. Someone there. Come here, you. Stand right in the middle. No one stopped me yet. Is that it? Throw. Is that gonna hit everyone? It kind of looks like it will, but I'm not sure. Okay, it hit everyone. Fly down here. Come on, everybody. Follow me down. Damn, it's good to be alive. Okay, they're not yet going. How do I? Where's your comment? Oh, no, no, it's over here. Fly. Starion. 
fly. Stop flying back up. I wonder what the next move is. Before you lose it, fly. There we go. God damn. I've got a long road ahead. Jeez. Trusting Samantha, dangerous? I know. That cop with the Emperor, if you're openly antagonistic to him, he'll reveal he was mind controlling Duke's Stalemate the whole time and they weren't just warm, cuddly friends like he'd presented her. Really? Don't waste a step. Wow. Dude, he really did leave his humanity behind when he became uh, the Emperor. Well, actually, I've got no idea what Baldurin was like. Baldurin founded a city. Maybe Baldurin was one of those like, hey, to make anomaly, you gotta break a few eggs, okay? Like, he founded a city. So. What now? He might have been a shitty person. I actually do not know. Maybe manipulation was nothing new to him. Is that blood? No. Never mind. Heller Sun Blade. Attack rolls of this weapon have advantage against undead. Would you like to take this, bud? Is it better than either of the ones you have? Yes, it's better than the knife of the Undermountain King. You have a shield on? Why do I have a shield on you? Organ Rearranger. Hmm. Reduce the number you need to roll a critical hit while attacking by one. This effect can stack. I feel like this sounds like it affects all your weaponry. You should definitely... Oh, is this main hand only? Short sword, light, finesse. Rapier, finesse. It doesn't say main hand only. It's light and everything. Why can't you equip that in your offhand? What is happening? Take this off. Is this two-handed? Does rapier count as two-handed? Think Baldurin was just a dirt bag who got exaggerated by legends? Who was that guy who built modern New York? Something Clinton, but not those Clintons? Oh, I'm not sure. I imagine the history of New York has a handful of laudable figures and a lot of real scumbags. George Clinton? Robert Moses was who you were thinking of? What's up, Moscow to see you? Hope you're doing well. That's M-A-S Moss, not M-O-S-S Moss. I haven't mistaken you ape for Skullboy again. <laughs> George Clinton from the band Parliament Funkadelic. I was going to say, that sounds familiar, and I think that's... Hmm. Rapier isn't heavy, but it's not light. Oh, you're right. It's not listed as light. Okay, fair enough. Uh, put your shield back on then. No worries. I think radiant damage is super cool and advantage against the undead. I mean, you're going to be doing ranged anyway, so, like, what does it matter? But... Another step forward. I see that you don't. And yes, you're definitely thinking of Robert Moses. Both weapons have to be light. Um, okay, so I need to go up over here, but there's no like encounters, so I think only one person needs to. Also, I need to find yes, this button to get this moving. Is that what does it? It is. And I was too slow. Let's see how many people can follow me because we can walk back more easily after this. Actually, yeah, it might be important to get this up for everybody. I can't remember how else you can get back to where we were. There may not be an easy way. So what are we doing today? We are in a what if episode. A kindly demigod or some other kind of magical being came by 70 year old wet floors, manor, where he was living out a relatively quiet retirement for an adventurer in the Forgotten Realms and asked him what if he had any regrets about his adventure. He spoke but one word, Starian's name. This jump, though, was pretty close. I regret that. And we were sent back in time to try again. God, I wish I had time to write for it. I'm actually pleased, as I'm not a great DM or anything. I feel very weak at that kind of improv. I'm pleased with how that intro went, but fuck, I wish I had time to write. Can I point something out? Yes, go ahead. You've all heard the rules at this point. Please feel free, within reason as you see it, to go ahead and point things out. Help out and all that stuff. Okay, I just had her jump the wrong way somehow. How long ago was the last autosave? That's so stupid. That's so dumb. I'm gonna load again, but I hate this. Oh. 
It was great. I'm glad you guys enjoyed it. Sounded real planned, impressive, impov. Like I said, I had a couple ideas how it would go. I thought for a while about how old Wet Floor should be, what his life should be like roughly, and just a little bit about what kind of person should visit him. But I had a few other ideas. If I'd spent longer writing it, it probably wouldn't have been an entertainer just because a traveling entertainer who suddenly turns out to be some strange, powerful being is a bit of a trope and not a bad one. It's a trope for a good reason. But I might have tried to do something weirder, but it works well. So I don't have any like regrets using it. One day I'll catch a break. All right, we're just going to have one person go down this time because I forgot they all need to come back up anyway. That'll go way faster, seeing as I don't need to do a potion or anything for my character to fly. We'll be fine. Sorry about the Standing repeat. On the elevator's platform, you can feel a How do our DMs of Samantha Hero created stream when? Well, one of my ideas for another playthrough. So the two, the two ideas for future possible streamed playthroughs that yeah, most is. interest me are doing Dark Urge, perhaps similar to this, where I make all the decisions, just occasionally asking for truly this petty. mysterious Sharn wound. You're not missing any health. I didn't notice what just happened to you or why, but whatever. Um, what was I saying? I'm at the wrong door. Uh, doing a Dark Urge playthrough basically the same as this. Or doing a Dark Urge playthrough with a little more input. Or doing a playthrough maybe not Dark Urge. Maybe both. I don't know. I could do another playthrough that doesn't have to be Dark Urge because what would interest me if it's a feasible thing to do, is to do like, say six big surveys to cover like two surveys per act where everyone can give an opinion on what I should aim to, which quests I should do, what outcomes we should get, sort of thing. But that's kind of a hard one because I, I'm okay with knowing a bit ahead of time. I already know a good deal about this game but I'm sure we see some things I'm not aware of yet. And I'm okay with knowing a bit about them ahead of time, but I would probably want to find people who could help me put them together. The surveys, that is. Such that I don't learn a lot more about the game before I, I see what your decisions sort of mean. You know? In real time. Do a Dark Urge where you flip a coin to see if you give in or not. I don't even know really what that means. I mean, it makes a certain sense the way people talk about it. It's called the Dark Urge. And I've heard people talking about how you can do, like, resistant Dark Urge run or giving in, but I really don't know what that means. Don't tell me either. That's one of the things we are not safe worded on. I don't know what makes the Dark Urge run Dark Urge, and I would like to see it myself sometime. Try not to kill teammates this time. I was thinking more specific choices than that. All right, Velioth, use. The pillow rests a skull with a scroll clamped in its bony jaws. The skull's empty eye sockets flare with an eldritch gleam. You feel invited. So you know, another thing I forgot to, to mention that I was going to mention earlier, and then I got interrupted, I think, by the fight upstairs ocean. with the werewolves and stuff, was. This skull is all that remains of the vampire. Actually, Bellion. I don't remember this. I should know the basics of he it. Turned Casador, gave him the gift oh, yes, and Casador ended up overpowering Valioth eventually, right? Existence. And I remember the first time around, the way it was written about, I was like, were they into this? Were they like, ah, you have finally defeated me, but this is the way of things. I'm proud of you in a twisted way, sort of, or not. Also, I think I made that roll the first time, but whatever, we're moving on. Your attention wanders for a moment. I remember this vaguely. And you miss the import of Valioth's um, ghostly. I was going to I was going to say Valioth recalls when we have another special stream coming up. To a former friend. I have no his plans for it yet. To watch but as Valioth drained his May 1st, dry. the start of next month is Dish Soap and Origami's birthday. They're going to be turning 1. And I want to celebrate it with either one stream or possibly a week of three or four themed streams around pets and animals and real cute little guys. I don't yet know what it means, but we got special events coming up early May. You were know distracted that. by an errant thought and lose the thread. I'm in. Lesson. 
Veliot recalls when non lethal slash join Minthara, we need to pick her up for the party. Casador suffered 11 years of impalement because he failed. Veliot's third lesson one more crack at a wisdom roll. Hey, we got one. A different one to what I think I got the first time. Valioth's third lesson is to act not in haste. A near immortal has Pomegranates, it's, it's not a problem I failed to wisdom to rolls, right? Only when others will pay the price of action. Valioth recalls Correct? Cool. Casador, Thank you. His so we're playing Stray? I've already streamed Stray. I have Stray highlights on my YouTube channel, my second YouTube channel, youtube.com slash at highlights, which I I still, I'm so hesitant to give you any estimate because I've been so bad with estimates for months now, but which will eventually have Baldur's Gate 3 highlights part two released because it is so close to done with the rough cut and then fine cut and finalize is easier than doing the rough cut so i think i'll be able to get it done item received black mass scroll please 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 remind me where is it oh shit it's gone man goblin's drawing oh god i put it in the bag and it's gone now sort by latest fuck dude Unfurling the scroll reveals a list of foul rites and rituals detailing all the ways death can be turned to one's advantage or simply made more interesting. The rite of perfect slaughter, the liturgy of the dead, the sacrament of the damned, and many more strange accursed rituals cover the parchment. The final entry, however, is familiar. Profane ascension. Pity is dead, raven is dead, immortality is your gift, darkness is your prison, hunger its jailer. The rite of profane ascension will release you, walk in the sun, suffer not from hunger, grow your power beyond anything you imagined. A pact has been made with the lord of hellfire. Deliver unto him seven thousand souls, each bearing an infernal mark, and you shall be free of your chains. You shall know true power. Deliver the souls, speak the words, Echi Dominus, Hazanimus, Offero, and Sacrificio, Nunc Volo Protestatum, Quam Policitus S. Mihi. I went back and forth on a lot of the pronunciations there. But then, I've never actually learned Latin, so fuck it. Whatever, dude. Pomegranate, say anything else I need in that room, or can I go now? Because I'm I'm walking away now. It's okay, I'm walking away, right? Just like the door to the ballroom upstairs, this door features no keyhole. Feel free to elixir up before the fight if you want those buffs going into it. I plan to. Go go. Dislike the non-lethal. Hang on. Dislike the non-lethal Minthara trick because it often bugs your dialogues out for the entire game. Not always, but when it happens, uh, you're stuck with a delusional, unresponsive character. Her being delusional would be a good reason, a good explanation of why she works with you in some playthroughs, right? You can fail them all, it's fine? Cool. Because I nearly did. Alright, everybody, we're all together again. You're over here, right? Come join me. There you are. There you are. Save. What's happening? Has anyone explained what happened the first time? I tried this fight three or four times. I think it was four, and I think twice I just died. Like I wasn't going to complete the fight. One of the two times that I would have been successful or likely successful, it was going great, and then Kazador ascended, and all of his sacrifices, including Astarian, turned into mush. And I reset despite the fact that I had killed a bunch of adds and I was probably going to be able to carry it off. I don't know, I didn't see a lot of him ascended, but... And then the last time, I killed him before he ascended. And everyone exploded into mush. And at that point, I was like, what the fuck? And I had no idea what to do. So I moved on with the game, because I didn't know what else to try. Now we're back. To hear the speech that capped off winning the best voice actor award for Astarian's VA. Do you like to know the error of what you just said? Let me get into the fight. We gotta do these conversations first. I kinda wanna hear these conversations again because we might visit with these people after again. You know, after the fight. But I should do elixirs before I forget. Elixir. Okay, elixir bloodlust is when you kill a foe, you gain hit points and additional action. You're not killing people as effectively, but it might still be best for you. Radiant resistance, who cares? 
Movement speed can't be reduced, can't be paralyzed or restrained. Maybe resist to psychic. I think he does some psychic, but I don't really recall. Arc skin set to 16. That might be good for me. Um, additional spell slots. Resistance to all damage, but only lasts 10 turns. Easier crits, 21. Do I have a cloud giant one yet? No, I don't see one. I remember what they look like. Sea invisibility. Heroism, 10 temp hit points, and blessed. Blessed is 1d4 added to attack and saving? Yeah. Elixir of heroism is pretty good. Peerless focus. Advantage on con saves. Can't Anakin's being charmed. Can't be put to sleep. So you're basically like an elf when you take that. Drink to increase your size. Weapons deal an additional 1d4. You gain advantage on strength checks and saves. Last until long rest. I think... <laughs> I think there are probably better ones for Karlak, but it's tempting to make her giant. Very tempting. Plus five bonus to initiative, can't be surprised. Fire resistance, lightning resistance, dark vision. Okay. Okay. Um. Yeah, you're gonna be huge. Colossus, for you. Uh, I'm gonna give I'm going to give uh, plus five bonus to initiative might actually be useful for you, Shadowheart, but like not, not, not that useful. Fuck it. Have a heroism. I'll drink bark skin and Starion. There's a good chance of you picking off a lot of enemies. If I can free you early in the fight, I really don't know what it takes. I don't know what I'm selecting for for you. <laughs> That's the funny thing. I don't know. I don't know. You know what? We're going to try Bloodlust on you. I have no idea if that's wise. I feel like it's not, but... I literally never used elixirs while you were alive, so... No history of this. Or the ones I gave you. Honey? Honey? Didn't I just give you Colossus Elixirs and I can't... Am I blind? I must be. They're in here. Okay, cool. Nice! Because all I want to do is see you turn into a giant woman. A giant woman. I'm ready. Good shit. Can we make that the name for explaining things to Hydra after the game is over? Preparing their Cazador splaining message? Great. Delightful. You drink your elixir of heroism. Don't, don't. You drink your elixir of bloodlust. Still breathing. All right, we're all elixired up. Despite Perfect. Everything. Let's go to these conversations. Have to keep going. I'll give it a shot. Approaching the cells, you're met with hollow-eyed faces. What's up, Jake Hatter? Good to see you. Heard there were giant ladies and came running. There's one. There's one, and it's the neglect. best one. Starion, do you know who these prisoners are? I don't even know what this prison is. He hid all of this from me. And the others. If I had to guess, I'd say they're part of his ritual. But where in the hell do they come from? You. I know you. You're the one from the tavern. You smiled and joked and got me drunk. No. You're dead. You called me so many sweet things. My name sounded like a lyric on your tongue. Sebastian. You remember me. You're handsome. Shy. You'd never been kissed. You taught me how. And then you destroyed me. I know he means more than this, but I feel like a kiss from a Starian would destroy a lot it of people can't be. immediately. God, his beautiful, sad Astarian face. Oh, it's a floor eyes, good to see you. Notice that every prisoner has a rune carved into their flesh. 
Look at the symbols. They all have scars. So Kazadu marked them too. Bound us all to his ritual. Gods. I know so many of these faces. They're my... conquests. I pursued them. Seduced them. And brought them to Kazador. He told us he was feeding on them, but he turned them to spawn. He turned every last one so we'd have souls for this cursed ritual. How long? What? Personally seduced one seventh of a thousand, uh, seven thousand sacrifices. How long have I been down here? What the, what do you, is seven thousand like important magically, or do you think whatever you know, God was just like, no, give, give, give me seven thousand. That sounds like a good number, because it's both a round number, but it's also seven thousand, not ten thousand or something. Hmm. Let a starian answer. One hundred and seventy years. Okay, we probably shouldn't have told that guy that. You were one of my first. My family. Forgot it was that long. My friends. <laughs> They're gone. You took them from me. You took everything from me. Pomegranates, can we set them free? I don't know if it's a good idea or a bad idea, but is it even a possibility? Just yes or no? Yes. Well, we're already taking a second crack at this. Wet floor is going to live up the savior dreams. We'll set you free. Hope it's a good idea, too. That is the That's part I mean to here. take care of. To destroy Kazador. <laughs> you can't. It's not possible. Where's the key to your cell? His staff. It controls everything. You gotta take off. Let me know when you want to talk about music ideas. All right, sounds good. Have a fantastic we'll evening. Forget it. Good chatting with you, friendo. Hope you're having a good one. Sit tight. We'll be back. You can't stop him. No one can stop him. I've stopped him before. Just didn't do it the right way. God's above. He kept Sebastian. I feel ill. All the fools and villains who ever fell for my ploys, they're, they're here. Are you going to be all right? I don't know anymore. I thought these people were, were drained and buried. They should be dead. But why? Why does he need them alive? What possible use could they have in this ruined state? Well, let's get them safe. <laughs> I could care less about that. All right. I wonder if they'll tear me apart for what I did. I am a little worried about that. We must find Castor. We're playing hero today. This must end. It's like children in the other one. I don't remember him having any specific connection to them, though. Hey. Hey, you. Come closer. Oh, God. It can't be. It is you. Nope. She recognizes him. I knew him. it. I'll kill you. Once I get out of here, I'll kill you. You're the children from the Monster Hunters camp? Camp. camp. Monster Hunters. Uh, the girl camp. Oh, God. My parents' camp. Uh, I remember Jesse now Lucas. talking to the girl. Resist. Like group after the, walking out of here. Uh, 
And I think we told them all the kids were dead. I'd forgotten all these people died. I remember there's a bunch around the summoning circle, but I've forgotten about these kids. Didn't he tell you? He's the one that kidnapped us. But we're playing hero today. We're gonna be good heroes. Uh, yes. Now that you um, mention it, uh, I may have done that. Oh, don't look at me like that. Casador's orders. Quite the deviation from my usual routine, of course. Uh, capture, not lure. Uh, I didn't bring them in with sweet rolls or anything. I really forgot about them. Felt nothing the moment I handed them over to him. Oh. Great. If we eliminate Casador, will they be free? I suppose there's a good chance they will. What use is it, though? They're lost. Ravenous. Feral. They'd attack any mortal on sight. All these people were ruined because of me. I'm not going to say it the second one. <laughs> I have no idea if we can save them, but I'm not saying the second one. We promised their parents we'd save them. Parents? Y you've seen my parents? This is the first Baldur's Gate 3 you've watched? You're still working on Divinity Original Sin 2? I don't really know anything about Divinity or Divinity 2. Other than one of them, I know the plot line means that only one person can like succeed, so there's this sort of tension with your party members. My brother was quite impressed with the sort of overall layout of the story. I'm not sure he ever finished the game though, but he was playing it and told me some good things. I've, I've never played any Larian game other than this one, though. Listen, kids, there are benefits to being vampire spawns. Like, I don't know what they are, but I'm sure there are some, all right? You don't have a bedtime. You can stay up all night. Uh, harder to go play out during the day, but you can stay up all night, so. Uh, but uh, yeah, if they, they, they'll be fine, so long as we free you from this place. I don't think I'll ever be able to go home. Not like this. You should go. Leave us here. We shouldn't be out there. We'd hurt our families. Never give up hope. Trust me, I know what I'm talking about. Fine. The exhaustion, starvation, and fear recognition stirs in her eyes. And with it, Hope. You... You really mean it. This is the old pre-Astarian's death wet floor. Remember, he would promise anyone anything with no idea how to get it done. We're feeling a bit of that again. You can set everyone free. If you get it, somehow. Cazador's staff, got it. All right, I'll free you once I have the staff. Good luck. If you fail, well, I suppose we'll be seeing you again in here. Great, thanks for the pep talk, kid. All right, encounter time. Let's do a quick save here. I've elixir everything else I think is going fine. I think we just go in. Um, I kept changing up Carlac's weapon over and over again. Is she wielding what I want her to wield? Yeah, I think, I think Sword of the Emperor is what she did for a long time. Because it was better than Adamantine, and I realized eventually Adamantine excuse me, crits on objects. I legitimately for a short time thought it just crit always, which clearly wasn't the case. I think we're good. All right. What now? Never wanted the easy path. Here it is, that fateful room. Who stands before us? Is this truly our prodigal son? Hm? Do not slouch before me, boy. Have you no respect for yourself? Look at you. Crawling back after abandoning your family. You should be begging our forgiveness. I forget what we did last time. But this is about Astarian. Let's see what Astarian has to say. Forgiveness? You've never forgiven anything. 
Every mistake, every slip was punished. I strove for perfection in all things, even those as imperfect as you. A pity you amounted to so little, despite my efforts. No. No. Fuck you. And fuck everything you've ever done to me! We're here to stop the ritual. Now you're gonna pay. I like that. I will not speak to cattle. This is between me and the boy. You son of a bitch. You truly forgot my power. You truly oh God, forgot Gojo. our bond as creator and creation was all that stopped you. Though I thought red was the blast of energy one, not the uh, defensive. I can't follow JJK all the time. You are a small, pathetic little boy who never amounted to anything. Just let you beat it and explain the difference? The difference? Adamantium mace is great if you want to break down walls, one shot most of them, otherwise adamantium weapons aren't great. Think of ascension for a starion or just save her from death? Ascension would be great if we can get it. I'm fine either way. But ascension would be great. I know how to do one of those things. And Samantha's gonna tell me how to do the other. Of the Vampire Ascendant! Ecce Dominus! All right, pomegranates. What's the first step to saving a Starion? Call lightning on two targets, a level five spell. Uh, I should have made more um, things. How much does call lightning do? Five to 50? Yeah, I forgot to make more things before the start of this fight. That was stupid of me. I'll go ahead and do this though. Shut up. Daylight. Daylight. Pomegranates, is there a difference between, difference between the spell daylight and the light that, uh, what's her name? Um, Shadowheart constantly gives off with uh, Le the, the Mace of Lathander. Range? Did I not have her near him when he died? I forget. I truly forget. Just range? So did I just kill him without having her near him? Because I thought of that once or twice during the fight, but... I will admit, not constantly. Tax row examine, ungroup. I mean, we can't help a Starion, right? Pomegranates, we can't go over and help a Starion. Run to a Starion and use help? We can? You can help a Starion. You can? You're kidding. Hang on. Fuck. No easy way for someone to do this. All right, I can teleport over there, but a bunch of other people have to go first, which is what really sucks about this. What are your odds of hitting him if you're... I, I, just tell me the fucking odds, game. Ah, oh, I can't see them. All right, uh, maybe you kill little things. I don't know. I don't know what to do with my time. I'm willing to try a couple times. Let's just go ahead with it. Let's just go ahead with it. You almost have to, in fact, you want to play it safe? You really can just help him? All right, one thing I remember pretty confidently is I went over to see if I could help one of these people, and I couldn't. And you could intercept a beam. And so I was like, oh, that's all they're good for. And I never, he, he's the only one you can help. These people aren't him. I would still have wanted to help them. I tried. 
Bullshit! Well, that's dumb. And still save them by killing Kazador quick enough with daylight on him. Because let me tell you, I killed Kazador quick enough. It didn't save them. Alright, I'm nearby an enemy right now. Actually, I'm not near enough to be in any trouble. Interesting. Uh, Misty Step. All the way over to our pal. Seems like the best way. And then you're saying I just click on him, and there's a hundred percent chance that he's gonna be taken out of He's got his armor on. He's got his armor on. That's so well, we're getting another chance at this! Hey everybody, we had another chance at this! It's going great! I'm happy! All right, now I gotta figure out how to kill him before he ascends. Gotta kill him real fast. Now you better understand why people were baffled. You didn't save him. You know, I w I'm posting my Elden Ring shorts on um, Reels, because I never did. I only started recently, so they're they're at the Melania shorts right now. And I just, like, two days ago, I think, posted the one where I'm like, where people are like, oh, sorry, I missed what, I, I read out some, one of your messages, Samantha, where someone's like, oh, I misunderstood, I thought Hydra was considering not beating Melania, and I go, Okay, of course I gotta beat Melania. I mean, he's Melania. You have to beat her. She's, there's no way she's optional. Everyone talks about her. Now I sit there for a second and go, There's no way she's optional, right? I make big assumptions and I just don't know. I forget that they're assumptions. They go in the same as fact and stay there. So after trying one guy and not being able to help him, Guess I can't help anyone. How else do we do this fight? That's what happened. Eighty percent. This is ten to sixty. I want to kill a bunch of little fucking bats if I can. That hits a bunch of bats. Go for that. There we go. Burn those bats out. Lower the chance of little weird things that happen. Um. Anything else you need to do with your turn? What? I guess you could summon a spiritual weapon. Pomegranates, does the spiritual weapon use up her bonus action for its attacks, or does it get its own turn and its own bonus action on that turn? I forget. It gets its own turn, so it's not using her bonus action. Okay. It's concentration, right? No, it's not. All right. All right. Cool. Um, let's summon a trident. For fun. I bite asleep on wet floor, a level six necromancy spell. I mean, I'll try a three, though I doubt it'll work, but fuck that guy. I don't want to be put to sleep. We saved versus it, though. The other nice thing about spending my reaction that way is I don't have the reaction for something else, but I now have Tempestuous Flight waiting for me without casting a spell during my turn. That is a huge cost to get it, but if you don't need that spell slot, it essentially unlocking Tempestuous Flight to start your turn with is occasionally quite nice, in a way. Um, kill this bat? Yeah, so we don't have to worry about it later. Just take this bat out. Thank you. Pretty sure you don't provoke attacks of opportunity or anything. Like, like, if enemies walk away from you, I'm pretty sure you don't. So let's not worry about that. All right, I gotta remember to cast Daylight. Good, it's dead. I gotta remember to cast Daylight. First, you... 
Legacy of Avernus Branding Smite! Actually, is there a way I could just... We get a scroll of Thunderclap? Thunder Wave, is that what I'm thinking of? Yep. Oh, but this is just the one that pushes all around you. Which might not go as far. I'll take a look at it. She's standing in one of the spots during this fight. It might be useful to use. Let's cut with fire, baby. So if you were going to cast that, what would happen? Oh, no, no, it is what I thought. It is what I thought. And you could get... No, no, no. Don't hit the fucking... Hang on. Where she's standing, she's going to hit Pale Petrus. And I'm not sure they can be moved, but let's not, like, risk that. How do I force move? Shift move, it looks like. Come over here. Fuck the bat. The bat can try to attack for opportunity. I don't give a shit. Items. Cast this. There we go. That's more like it. Please kill the three of them, hopefully. Ah, you got one. I like it, though. I'm pleased with it. Um... Pomegranates, does Frenzy and Welcome to Sand. If gonna have test. a good time, Sandwine will fuck, fuck you while you try to walk through traps. Of all days for this to pop. Shoujo, thank you so much for the resub on Twitch in the 67 months and you saving it for today. I'm taking as complete forgiveness and approval of how I handled the situation. I'm so glad you came around. I know it wasn't easy for you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Enjoy your ad-free viewing, your Baxter emotes, and your new emotional freedom from being mad at me because you forgave me. Uh, I really need to start hammering on him. Um, I definitely really need to start hammering on him very, very badly. So, what am I going to do? I'm going to... Can you jump past this guy? It's going to provoke attack for opportunity. It won't in some of these places. Can you just jump past him with one of your bonus actions without getting attack for opportunity? <laughs> yep, funny enough, you can. Love that for us. Uh, hi. Subtle approach. I'm just going to get murdered. You still have to win the fight? I do. In fact, let's make a quick save here. This hasn't gone, like, perfectly so far, but just in case, this is a good place to pick up from. Let's make a quick save in the middle there. 70% advantage. Um, I, have, I assume you have a vulnerability to radiance, or do you just not have any resistance? You just don't have any resistance. Okay. Okay. Uh, necrotic is all I need to worry about not doing to you. Otherwise, what can I hit you with that just deals damage? Do I have an undead slaying? Do I have a humanoid slaying or something to lay in damage? Barbed arrow? We can just do barbed arrow, probably. Ooh, arrow of lightning is a lot, right? Sixty-two fucking damage. That is my undead lad! He's back! Okay, now me. I need to get the fuck away from you. And we get to start our turn with uh, flying. <laughs> so benefits. It does not provoke attack for opportunity. Stop saying it does. You can't just lie to me, game. You can't just lie. I know when you're lying. Oh, I've already used disintegration. I remember where I used that. That was before here, wasn't it? Blight's not going to work because it's necrotic. Or is it poison that you're resistant to? I think it's poison, actually. No, it's necrotic. So we're not doing that. Um, 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 um. Oh yeah, we're back at that thing where like I don't have a lot of high single target damage without that, do I? Do I, do I, do I? We could do cloud kill on a whole bunch of his friends. Does this obscure? I lose concentration on detect thoughts. Oh no, it does obscure. I don't like that it obscures though. That's an issue. That's an issue. Let me check real quick. Do you have daylight already? You do. Never a dull moment. 
Mm -hmm. I could just conjure lightning and blast him with that. Turn after turn after turn after turn, hopefully. Hopefully. Suck on that. And turn. Your favorite type of the arrows in the silence? Do you mean the ones that like interrupt concentration guaranteed and then silence them for one turn? I love the utility of those, but I hate that they say silence for one turn because they silence them until their turn and then they're not silenced. So technically it gives you a period during which they cannot use spells with their reaction, but who gives a shit? I read that and went, they're silenced for a turn. And I got so mad when I found they weren't. But still, it's exceptionally useful to guarantee if you land the attack roll that you break someone's concentration. That's pretty fucking nice. Unrecognized command. Oh, are you trying to give me a pole to get back at me or something? He still hasn't engaged this fight's easy mode. Oh, were you daylight? I'm, I'm doing that with Shadow Heart's turn. Though she can't use actions because she's nauseous. Oh, that's Stinking Cloud, right? I can, I can get out of Stinking Cloud, presumably. She's still nauseous. Well, that's dumb. Damn. All right, I'll do it on someone else's turn then. Crap. Do a mass healing word for the fuck of it. Enter. Didn't think about nausea's taking effect. Use I buy to sleep again. You are such an asshole. Another crack at countering it. Nah, sleeping. I do call lightning. You don't do call lightning. I do call lightning. What are you using my own shit against me? I do call lightning, you fucker. That's me. Loser. <laughs> what just could you kill? You could kill like one of them. Because you don't have the great weapon thing. That's a yeah, that provokes attack of opportunity just like other moves. Of course it does, of course it does, of course it does. Do I have scrolls of daylight Nothing out of curiosity? My way. I don't. Shit, so it has to be Shadow Heart. I need her not to get sick again. Well, that's annoying. All of Samantha Daylight, here we go, two rounds later. Well, I figured I should free Astarian because it will increase my damage a lot, and then I had all these opinions about who should cast Daylight. I, as the person who's doing everything wrong, don't think that freeing Astarian was wrong, but not casting Daylight immediately and instead being like, I don't know, a little bit of a little friend. That was probably the mistake. Even spiritual guardians could make a big difference. I was gonna cast that, but I'd already used my action on uh, Shadow Heart last time. Um, yeah, you can, you can, you can, you can. You can't cast daylight on yourself. I don't have anything that's like daylight, right? No one else is carrying a scroll or potion of daylight. I don't think. Let's spill some blood. Nope. All right. Ready? Then why don't you kill this predator werewolf, I guess? With your turn. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Fuck him up. Maybe you will get to kill too. I doubt it though. You'd have to do a lot to this guy. Nicely done! My dear sweet love, I remember why I fell in lust and love with you. Go nauseator! Don't you dare. I won't let you do this. I won't let you win. But I've already won, my boy. All the pieces are in place. The ascension is inevitable. It does sort of feel like that sometimes. Melee, 95%, but it's 7 to 12. Doesn't feel like enough. Um, 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 um. You haven't taken any hits yet. How bad would it be for you to go rushing away? I won't give in. I also can't cast any daylight, right? I didn't check my actual spells. No, I can't. No, I can't. You guys resist necrotic as well? Yes, you do. And you're immune to poison. You're extra special. What a delight. Do you find things funny? Not really. Do you find things really funny? No. 
Oh my god, I didn't even have the ability to, like, heighten my spells. Huh. Huh. He's not doing a thing and it's so stressful. Apart from casting daylight, I don't know what you're referring to. And I'm pretty sure Shadowheart's the only one that can cast daylight. So this is, this is real. As awful as it is, this, this is 100% real. That's why I'm being vague. I do appreciate it. But to be honest, we are pomegranates. You can tell me if you want to, or you can enjoy the pain. If that's what you'd like. We do have a save in the middle and one right before. It, it's not the worst thing in the world if I have to restart. Hmm. That hits the spot. I'm gonna move over here now. And turn. Um, I'm trying to see if I should just take the shot from this guy. If you stand in the glowing ritual circles, Kazdor can't absorb this spawn. Ritual drain using ritual sources five, right? Yeah, I know you can intercept it. Actually, I think I, 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 first of all, let me be clear. I believe you on that. But I thought that I realized very quickly the first time around, can you hit me? You suck. I thought I realized the first time around that I could intercept them, and I was like, oh, that probably blocks him from doing it. So I went and stood in one, and then he absorbed the person anyway, and I don't know what happened that time. Clearly, like I said, I believe you. Something weird happened, but I believe that's why I gave up on ever doing that. Oh, and he loses charges. Yes, he loses charges. I did know that. I just was worried more about trying to figure out daylight and not thinking about that. Also, I couldn't really move a lot of characters. Aren't you absorbing it? Yeah, Karlak's absorbing one and everybody else is busy with other things. I got knocked out. Oh, last time Astarian was still in the ritual circle. Oh, I know Astarian was, but like I was, I was going into these two at the start of the fight and it never got far enough for me to worry about standing other things, but I was intercepting these most of my attempts the first time around. Um, I didn't do anything with you. You can't hide in his sight, can you? Just like old time. Just I take a crack at it. Oh yeah, I meant to like dash and come over here and hide. That's what I was going to do. Too late for that now. No worries. No worries. Um, range attack. See, Samantha, if you talk to me, I can screw up other turns. You have advantage? Then sneak attack this one. I didn't realize it was blinded because of that. Hell yeah. All right, cutting action dash. Can you go absorb one of the sources maybe? There, I'm absorbing one. Strategy. Are you happy now? Fight you're remembering right out of time, standing in the circles to block the buff. I brought Karlak over to do it, and everyone else has been busy. They've been helping Astarian, been Astarian, or they've been nauseous. You're not nauseated! All right, good shit! I think we give this to Karlak, or can I cast it directly on him? Daylight Sphere, Daylight Enchant Item. Target must have a weapon in their main hand. Damn. How big an area does Sphere cover? Oh, Sphere covers quite a fucking area. Should I cover this half, I suppose? Cool. What does Sunlight Hypersensitivity do again? I saw it on him before, but I forget. 20 Radiant Damage if it starts its turn in Sunlight while Sunlight Disadvantage on Attack rolls and Ability Checks. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, do another one of these for fun. Level four. Good stuff. And... Go over this way. Wasn't telling you what to do, just clarifying the thing you are confused about. Does the event have a title or a name? I bite asleep again? I hate you so much. You suck. Just have psionic backlash, Chatter Teeth. <laughs> I broke his concentration on the spell before it went off. That's pretty lucky. Uh -huh. 
He's not smart enough to move out of it. For a second, I worried about leaving a tiny little area here because I thought he would just move out of it, but he's not smart enough to move out of it. Provoke stack of opportunity. I think I'm okay with that. Let's see how bad they are. Over there. Sure. Yeah, no, I get it. Yep, you all suck. Understood. Loud and clear, you don't need to tell me twice. Get him, Karlak! So he just needs to die while in sunlight for these sacrifices to live, correct? Pomegranates, right? Get him worse, Karlak! In the turn limit, okay. Has he absorbed anyone yet? I don't think he has. Where's the turn limit? I thought the turn limit was about him absorbing like five people or something. I can't see it anymore. I thought there was a way to read about that. Okay, where can we go that no one can see me? We can go over here. And then... You can hide. No trace. And then, hopefully... We have a 44% chance with advantage and everything. Because you're in sharpshooter all in. What's it like without that? 75. We'll take 75. We'll definitely take 75. Give me one of those barbed arrows, too. Get ruptured, son. All right. Back up a little bit away from those enemies. Not sure how far you have to go. That's probably fine. You should be able to make your way back to some place that you can cast a spell from. Okay. We don't use necrotic on him. What do we do? What do we do? What do we do? It's a decent amount of damage for this guy. Put all my scrolls together, please. We wanted to go to sleep early tonight. Sorry. Hydra does this thing and suddenly it makes sense. People guessing three tries. What? What am I missing? Did I miss something about the turn limit? Where is it? I know he's like healing and stuff and I should stand in places. But I needed Karlak over here. And I needed Astarian to be away from them. I could go take another spot. How many ritual sources? Wait, hang on a second. Ritual drain Yusin. So where's Yusin? I'll be honest, I never clocked there was a specific name there. Yusin. Take me over to Yusin real quick. Not enough movement speed, then why do you show that I can go over there? Oh, I thought he was draining from everybody. Wait, now he's draining from Violet, so it just changes constantly? And Yusin hasn't lost any health. Does it matter who he's draining from? I really don't know what you're talking about. And now I'm too far away to attack him this turn. So this didn't go great. Once you free Astarian, the ritual can't activate anymore. Kazador just gets power from the other sacrifices. Oh, okay. I'm worried about nothing then. There's no turn limit. I just need to make sure I deal enough damage. Which I know I'm not yet. But flying away, misunderstanding things didn't help. So don't you feel silly for, for my misinterpreting what you said. Ray of Frost is a cantrip. Um, I need to move next turn, so I actually I'm gonna bother to do that. 
Chatter Teeth's weirdly focused on me. Weirdly focused on me. Nice. You fucking bat fucks. Of course. I wish you had paralyzing critical, but you don't. You're still in sunlight, right? Yes. <laughs> Get mocked. Easy. Oh fuck, you're nauseous. I didn't see that. Stupid nauseous bullshit. <laughs> yeah, go ahead, try it. I was gonna say, he missed you so many times before. Why wouldn't he miss you again? Why wouldn't he? Ready or not. He seems to have bad melee, or maybe it's just your incredible dodging. Monstrosity, elemental, undead. Surely you count as undead. Yes. Sneak attack. Arrow of undead slaying. That was 50 plus, as uh, 66 damage. It's not bad. Time for it's not bad. Is he at 40? Kind of a lot left. Can I hit you and all these fucking bats at once? I can. Fuck off all of you. Thank you. Five remaining. Quick and spell. Let's make sure I don't miss. Okay. Okay. They're not all clouds of gore. Successful, Samantha. Completely successful. Despite your lack of faith. It's gonna take him three tries. This is my fifth try. I didn't realize that freeing all of you from your anger would build up so much anger in me. <laughs> Am I still getting anything from being from standing in a ritual source? I actually don't know. I guess. I guess. Am I stealing Yusin's health? Doesn't seem like I am. Yusin's not losing health. Can I tell you your error before? Sure. Reroll. Not a crit, though. Not a crit. Still good reroll. You never stopped the ritual last time? In which way? What did I do this time that stopped the ritual that I didn't do last time? And therefore didn't stop the ritual. Have to keep going. He ascended and then died of sunlight exposure. Oh wait, you mean he finished ascending? Wait, was he in light? He so wait, he ascended and then he took the sunlight hypersensitivity damage? You didn't pull a Starion out? What the fuck do you mean? Did our different... Okay. All right, hang on. Put that aside. We've talked about that, but I'll talk about it again because apparently I need to. I had him in sunlight and he died to sunlight, but he ascended first and that's why they all exploded? I can't say for certain because I don't remember this happening. As I alluded to earlier, I knew that I'd brought sunlight in the form of Shadowheart's weapon. And so, you know, I was like, oh, I thought I tried that. Maybe I thought I had, but he was too far away. But I checked off in my head like, well, it's not sunlight. Big check. That's not important. But it did kill.
And then, I already said this, but I tried helping one of these people because I assumed I could help everybody. And as soon as I couldn't help one, I went, oh, I guess I just need to kill him. I can't help anybody. And big tech mark, not even going to go try for Astarian, which is clearly wrong. But there's a little logic to it. The daylight thing is more BS, okay? The daylight thing, I think, I make a lot more sense about. Let's go back to talking about that. I double check the VOD and you can see the order everything happens in the combat log. I'm not gonna read. Reading, my god. So mad you made yourself nauseous IRL, I can only apologize. Thank god you forgave me before we had this bit of the discussion, right? Thank god. Every time you talked about how sad you were, how possible it was to figure out you just switched. Hey, I never said it was impossible to figure out. I said I had no idea how to do it. I know there's a difference. Oh, I'm tired of these enemies. I just wish they were dead. We'll get there. Go to hell. And stay there. Instead of coming back, you undead. That's not how undead works, but whatever. <laughs> that reroll did not save anyone. You're not nauseated. Cool. Tax of opportunity for that. Can you even get somewhere they won't see you? Not really. Well, maybe. Sickness, bro. Did I stop them from turning too much? I did. The whole idea was them not turning for their attack of opportunity. And eating up the space I wanted to be. Uh, you should be able to kill Fallen Gur Hunter, I think. Go ahead and toss uh, one of those powerful lightning arrows into it. Good shit. What now? Me, 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 me. Uh, another fireball to hit the three of these ones, probably. Nice, got two of them. Quicken this to finish this guy off. Cool, in turn. We're still friends, but still big mad. I'm sorry, Shoto. Listen, I'm glad you finally got there. So am I. I don't often get there. Tatter teeth, I feel like I should fuck you up some. Can I really not get to you this way? I can, what fun. Shoujo not saying bless your heart is scary. Bless your heart implies pity, Hydro's beyond pity. Does me no good, I've proved that. I don't need to charm a bat, all right? I have a lover. I'm gonna charm bats here. Uh, is there any way I can just fuck all of you up at once? It's a very simple way. What should I do? Maybe with my turn. Do I still have enough for anything AOE? Uh, not really. Not really. Um, how many bats are there? Five? I can fuck up some bats with these. Did I click the same bat twice? I did. I can fly away from them. Outside normal range, we'll move. I guess, given the fact you're allowed to fire outside normal range, and there are definitely times you'd want to try it, it makes sense they don't move automatically because the game doesn't know if you're wanting to, you know. Oh, right, bloodlust. That's why I have an extra action. So lost for a second there. The game doesn't know if you're doing a strategy where you want to fire without getting any closer. But every time it's like, you can't do that sneak attack you want to do because you're out dead. I get annoyed with it. If I'm trying sneak attack, it should be clear, right? Right, better get to it. 
Take chatter teeth to the dentist. It's so frustrating. These two things can bo can't both be true. Every time a Hydra had to explain why Astarian wasn't there, leading with I stopped the ritual, but he still died, and we all just had to smile and agree. Or God's blessing on a bat. All right. Okay. With level ups for everybody. So success. Oh, come on here. Let's go. Where is, um, did he, did he, did he go back to his sarcophagus or is he dead somewhere? Sarcophagus, right? I'm saving. He went back to his sarcophagus, did he? Because I don't see him anywhere else. And that's what he did last time. He took his shirt off to really feel this moment. I understand. No healing seat for you. Wake up! Get your hands off me, worm! Ha. I'm not the one in the dirt. One last thrust. And I'll be free of you. I'll never have to fear you again. But if I finish the ritual you started, I'll never have to fear anyone. Ever. I forgot we talked about that earlier. You think me a fool? It's just a dialogue but option? I would allow anyone to usurp me, speak the words, and ascend in my place. Hm? The runes I but that will kill everyone. Your flesh but they're thralls. And all Some of them are kids. Souls to the ritual. Complete it, and those bearing the scars will be sacrificed. You included. You are simply a means to an end. I made you to be consumed. I am so much more than what you made me. Get over here. We can do this. All right, what do you need? You can't finish the ritual, you'll kill all these people. Didn't you hear him? If you complete the ritual, you'll be consumed. I don't believe that. Like, even if you hadn't told me, I feel like I wouldn't have believed that. I'm not doing this. Hmm. Do you remember the fight with Catherick? Once he was imbued by Merkle with so much power and became that massive Bone Lord monster. Right? I forget what the ads were, but there were like ads spawning, and I was so panicked about that fight. Legitimately, that was the first time I was like, oh my god, I I I'm not just gonna make a mistake. I can't handle this. I'm gonna have to reload and I don't know how to come at this differently. Remember that fight? You watch these various endings, they're also good. During that fight, Starion went up to the top left area, and I was able to munchkin him around just outside people's visions the way the game lets you do, and a real DM wouldn't. And so he got a sneak attack with incredible range due to how high up he was every single turn. And every single turn, he fucking wrecked whatever I aimed him at. Just one shot them, never missed, never failed a hide roll when he had to walk in front of someone or anything like that. Could always get to where I wanted him to be. He made that fight. And I remember being blown away with how powerful he was. Powerful enough. You can't finish the ritual. You'll kill all these people. If we release them, how many people will they kill? Tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands. But if I complete the ritual, think of the power I'll have. With me by your side, we can, we can save the city. We can save ourselves. I want you to live a life you're proud of. You can't be proud of this. You have to understand. I've gone through life without you, Astarian. 
This could have gone another way, and it has. And I turned to fear and power of any sort. And it got me a really hot, betentacled girlfriend. But it wasn't all good. Take your time over this, as much as you want. The animators weren't above enjoying that either. Good ending! He's so redeemed, right? Final cry of freedom of trauma, so much. It's all about morality. Is, is it over? Is he... <sighs> yes. He's gone. And what does that mean for us? What do you want it to mean? choice is a simple really. You can hide here, living in the shadows like parasites. Or you could be more than what he made us to be. You can choose differently, of course. But the consequences are on your head. And what does it mean for them? The sensor doing no. work here? Oh no! <laughs> Female presenting nipples! 7,000 spawn from ancient conquests to stolen children. Cazador's staff controlled everything during the ritual. If it controls the cells too, you can Right, when I first watched this cutscene, it's excellently done. Let's release them. They deserve the same chance you got. 7,000 Astarians unleashed on the Sword Coast. It'll be a well-dressed flood of mayhem, at least. I'm unclear if you approve or not. are innocent. They shouldn't have to suffer just because I... lured them here. I always wonder at times like that, are all magical implements just controlled with thought? Or is there some user interface? Are there buttons on the side of the staff facing him I didn't see? They'll need someone how to do you know them. how to use it? Take the tunnels into the Underdark. Find somewhere, well, not safe, but less perilous. Such a good cutscene. Yeah. No, we can't. Just try to keep them out of trouble. How great would it be if he slammed it without knowing how to use it? What's up, B-Man? Good to see you. Let's go. Let's get going. That's it. He's gone. And you're clothed again. After Upsides and downsides. Years, it's a mixed bag. These centuries. It's really over. I'm proud of you. You did the right thing. I'm glad you think so, because I'm not so sure. I just feel numb. What I've lost. <laughs> what I've gained. It's all so much. I'm 
gods. All those spawn. Free in the Underdark. I need some time, I think. I We're finishing the whole playthrough from, uh, over from here on, right? <laughs> Let's just go. This place reeks of death, and I want to feel alive again. Item received woe. I'm sure I picked that up last time. Is the Starian carrying that? I don't remember anything about it. Well, some to spell save DC and spell attack rolls. When the creatures affected by your spells fail and you associate saving. Maybe I didn't get this. I don't remember this. I probably did. Is there anyone to go talk with going back towards the cells or have they all left now? I assume they've probably all left. Light on my feet. Well, let's make a save here in case I ever want or need it and go take a look. Then we will reload after the fight before the cutscene and see him ascend. Okay, yeah, everyone's freed. Oh, but we should talk to the Gur because their children are freed and they're going to see the state of their children and they might not be happy and I'm curious how that conversation goes. In fact, before we talk to them, just in case, we should have a short rest. Fresh. Just in case. Hey, Olma, how are you? What's up for discussion? You killed one vampire but released 7,000 of his spawn. Have you lost all sense? They were innocents. To kill them would have been an even greater crime. Uh, but if you do decide to go hunting them, know they include your children. Straight they... for the heart. Oh, they survived. In a sense. Well, that depends on how you define survived. Okay, I wouldn't say that to them but actually, they though. They are free. They're making their way into the Underdark as we speak. This is... Difficult news. We will need to decide what it means. That is a very, Thank very adult, conscious way of handling it. We will need to decide justice. what it means? Oh my As god. Rest, I guess they've been dealing with the idea of losing their children a long time, but wow. Wow. Holy shit. You have another two endings to see with Astarian? Okay, I assume that was one of them. Well, Pomegranates, what's the other I have to see with Astarian? And if you say the ending of the game, we're not doing that. Not tonight, at least. Actually caught a stream. What's up, Bowen? Good to see you. You deserve so many more views. Loved your Elden Ring playthrough. Oh, thank you. That's very kind of you. I'm glad you enjoyed. I hope you're having a good one, friendo. And thanks so much. Two additional ones. Well, what are they? If Gandril is alive, you can find him in the sewers with a couple of the kids. One where you ascend, one where you refuse to help ascend, even if you fail the persuasion checks. Where... What I okay, uh, we'll see if we get the roll for that or whatever. Load game. Go back to yes, right here. This is post fight, pre pre cutscene. For anyone joining us uh, who doesn't know what today is, I beat this game last Monday, and. Closer to that time, I meant to do this stream, but we had a couple delays. This is a post-game stream because there are so many ways this game can go and so many weird things I missed, I misinterpreted, or I fucked up. Today's post-game experimentation and discussion. One day where I get to retry a few encounters, chit-chat about things. In fact, I'm going to be paying close attention to some of these cutscenes we're doing right now since they're the primary reason that we did this, but... You can start feeling free to generally tell me like, oh, you came, clo came so close to doing this in Quest X, but you didn't, and you missed that you can get this person on your team, that you can take over the, you know, the thieves, the, the, the guild in Baldur's Gate, things like that. But, one more time, roughly limit it to stuff that I saw and maybe was close to seeing because I very much want to play the game once or twice more with different ways. And I want there to be some surprises left over. For instance, I have no idea why the Dark Urge is the Dark Urge. I know there's some weird reason, but I don't know that. And there are quests I never saw, and I'm sure whole... I, I, I know you can get Minthara, but I have no idea how. I guess you just have to be evil or something. Yeah. 
I want to leave some surprises, of course. I have a lot on my mind. Are there any other loose ends in your mind besides the Sasari and stuff, Hydro? There's one other thing I mean to reload and well, do. Hello. You can probably guess it. It's already come up once, and I think I said, yeah, that's the other thing we're doing tonight. But I won't say now, because we'll get to see it in just a minute. You don't have to roll, just try to convince without making a persuasion. Oh, just disagree with him, but don't make a persuasion roll and we'll get that. You streaming on both Twitch and YouTube? Yes. All my streams are simulcast. Please watch wherever it's most convenient for you. I'm happy to have you in either location. It's also one you get if you do the fight without him. Safe to assume Moonrise Towers are for the next playthrough. Yes, we'll probably go to Moon Moonrise Tower. Well, you say Moon Towers. You mean Moonrise Tower, right? You. Earlier I than I did this playthrough. But if I finish the ritual you started, I'll never have to fear anyone. Saving the owl bear. Ever. Tried. You think me a fool? That I would allow anyone to usurp me, speak the words, and ascend in my place? Hm? The runes I carved into your flesh bind you and all 7,000 souls to the ritual. Where do you think Complete the rest it. of the 7,000 are? 7,000 is a lot of people. 7,000 is like a medium, sta large stadium, isn't it? It's a large stadium. Where are they? I made you to be consumed. Do you see how deep these crypts go? I remember it looking like caves underneath. Under the platform. Get over here. We can do this. Take a look over the edge. All in this place. Look around the scenario. Uh Alright, what do you need? I need your eyes. In a manner of speaking. What? What do you think you are doing? I'm making what you made me. Oh, do I need to relate to you? Link your mind to mine. Through your eyes I can see the scars on my back. I didn't come up with the parasite idea, but I was about to say, are you gonna cover him in scars too? And I will. You will be consumed, and all the power you've lusted after will be mine. At the cost of a lot of lives. It's not worth it, Astarian. Don't be a wet blanket, Shadowheart. This is a what if. Please. This isn't even part of the regular series of comics. We have to make this a lot of fun, otherwise it's way less valuable. We want it to be one of those what-ifs that's more valuable, so shut up, Shadowheart. Your minds join and your two selves become one. You can feel the knife in your hand, see the scars on his back. I can see the alternate covers already. One of them will just be this series of scars. Yes. yes. I see it. What are you doing? Don't! Ah! I don't think they have to be that deep. Shadowheart, you worship an evil goddess of loss. 7,000 lives will please her, I'm sure. She doesn't any longer, but she did spend a lot of her life doing that. This is rough to watch. Yeah, this is a new height of cruelty shown on screen. Well, cruelty and violence mixed. There's been as much cruelty in this game, but not mixed with as much blood in one scene. Yeah, I don't love it. And they're so neat. Perfect. They're that neat. He was holding it like this. Did you hold a paintbrush that way? Ungrateful child. Wretched child. Time to take your place. Want to know about the best secret dungeon in the game? Unless I saw it, no. You can guide me to it on a next playthrough and I'll see it myself. But unless, like, I saw a little bit of it, but not the full amount, in which case, yeah, tell me what I missed about it. But if I didn't see it at all, we'll leave it for another playthrough. I wonder how much faster another playthrough would go. What are you 
you doing? All those people, Astarian. You waited pretty long to speak up, Karlak. Don't you dare. I can feel their power flowing into me. Let the ritual continue. Nunc volo potestantum quam policitus es me. Yep, that's how it happened the first time. I can't feel it. That ache in my stomach. That <laughs> the second time and the third time, everyone exploded in blood clouds only twice. Because the first two attempts, I didn't even get that I'm far without dying. Finally free. Oh, oh, it feels delicious. And what can a vampire ascendant do? I think the answer to that is whatever they damn well please. <laughs> Come on, let's get out of here. I have a brand new world to explore. Chapter Adrenaline, Blind Immunity, Covert Critical. It should be at the bottom, right? Vampire Ascendant. Behold the Vampire Ascendant. Thousands of souls have bought you power, granting you Ascendant Bite and Gaseous Form. You also have a plus 1 to 10 necrotic damage bonus to weapon and unarmed attack rolls. No time to rest. <sighs> this is it. The hopeless dream dreamt by all of my kind. Frenzied flame vibes. Best end. Look how the happy he is. Vampire to ever walk this land. Even the pale knight would have knelt before me. You are magnificent. I felt so very little for so long. My edges dulled. Two hundred years of hate will make one angry boy. One kennels. I can hear it at last. See it at last. How oh, all the lowly creatures of this plane are begging to serve. <laughs> How to call upon them. Scurrying footpads in their safe houses. Rats below our feet in their filthy holes. The crows in the night above! They will obey. The world will stir in fear. Neil did so freaking good. You can hear how different it sounds between spawn and ascended. Let's temper this a little more and see how he reacts. Appreciate this power. So many of your kind perished for you. It's sort of a reminder, not quite an admonishment, the way I read it. Let's see how he takes it. The spawn. It won't take long to get a new army. <laughs> he's, he's not even, like, aware that it could be an admonishment, it seems. I already hear the world whispering in sweet surrender. <laughs> it villain ranty there, Astarian. Passive aggression. <laughs> Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and there were like three in each of those, so 13. So we've got 6,987 left to go. 6,986, 6,985, 6,984, 6,983, 6,000. Maybe a bunch of them were standing in here, in this open, flat space I think I can see down there. Maybe. Alright. Did you say I have to see 
trying to convince him not to, but not really trying, Samantha? Correct. Yep. One of the things that bugs me is the scale of this place and how it doesn't crash with other underground places in this crazy city. Yeah. There's a whole fucking, like, series of trials and a giant cavern with a dragon under the city. There's all of this. There's a million other smaller things, but still pretty large, stuffed underneath various houses. It's just like, it's all basements of holding in Baldur's Gate. I don't know how else it works out. Wait, pomegranates, so I do two here. I can't remember how many times I say this or that before persuasion roll, which I remember I want to avoid. But I think I say two and just go on two or four. I'm not doing this. Please. I can't do this alone. No, I won't do it. Not one? Wait, but you said I had to deny doing it, just don't persuade him. No, you're good? Wait, am I? He didn't carve a rune or anything. Sorry, I reloaded, my bad. I thought once we got to that animation, I'd fucked up. My mistake. So it's okay, he kills him? But then he's gonna be one down for the ritual. Who's going to take from our party? He's going to demand that I sacrifice someone? You'll see. It's the only thing that makes logical sense I can think of. Maybe Alma shows up. You know, another NPC like that he could add. But he needs to add one, doesn't he? Not doing this. No, I won't do it. about this if the buttons or touch screen or whatever it has are on the top end of the staff maybe it will still one of us should grab it and try through a lot right now but maybe if you spend some time talking with a professional there's no shame in it in you know a week a month it's, it can be entirely on your schedule we could talk again okay 
Astarian, I don't know if you're listening to me on the other side of this big message on my screen, but I'm just going to keep talking because I need you to know I'm here for you. All right? Uh-oh. Now that is very interesting. That is very interesting. If I had somehow ended up naturally getting that ending. It's very hard to decide. I can't remember how I felt at the time because I did not make the decision to move on without Astarian because he died lightly. Um, like I said, the primary factor was not knowing how to save him. Having no clue what else to try because of my confusions and oversights. Um, and misunderstandings and stuff. That seems much more clear, like, oh, well, I should just try some different options in the conversation. It, it, there's no way that's the only outcome of that conversation. I should just go try the others. But I love the possibility of that ending so much that I, I feel I would have been tempted to keep it because there was a lesser reason that I kept going and didn't keep trying this fight at the time it first occurred, which was I thought it added a lot to the run, and that obviously adds a lot. It's not entirely pleasant, but it adds a lot. I think the honest truth is I would have been more likely to reload, especially if, and I imagine this to be the case, there were people here sincerely or jokingly being like, how dare you, you have to reload, so we reload now, right? I think the honest truth is I would have let myself be very quickly convinced to reload, try the conversation again, and laughed it off with some jokes. But part of me wishes I could be the kind of person to say I would have accepted that because I wouldn't have wanted it, but that was an excellent option or outcome for them to include. Yeah. That's the only thing you've never reloaded for tactical reasons because it was so powerful and lost your uh, starring in your soul. Took you a day of thinking, but you accepted it your first run. Impressive. Just joined Why He Angie because we didn't help him free himself from his curse. We helped him get his revenge, but we didn't give him any compassion nor help achieving a new level of power. And so he was left in a position where he was just done with the world and with us. Need to find a way forward. Gonna lurk while you fall asleep. Well done, Hydro. Good night, Hydro and Samantha. Thanks for hanging out, Ranar. Sleep well, sweet dreams. Have a good one, friendo. Now, one of the other things I want to try will not take very long at all. As long as I didn't mean to double click that. As long as I can find the save, I should still have the save. It was a quick save, but it was during the final stream. So it should still be there. Should still be there. That's the most impactful moment you've ever had in a video game. Sorry to drag you here kicking and screaming. No worries. That's the point of today is to see some things like that. And remember, Samantha, here in Discord at Thursday's stream or maybe Sunday's stream if you haven't decided by then, we do need to pick what game replaces this in the regular lineup my thoughts for the next big game, though I might want to do a shorter one in between this and the next big game, would be Red Dead Redemption 2, God of War Ragnarok, or Alan Wake 2. Baldur's Gate 1, I'm not interested in playing Baldur's Gate 1 and 2. I did a lot as a kid. And AD&D, oh boy. I know you're kidding, but let me say, just in case anyone hasn't heard it before, if you've only experienced D&D through 5th edition tabletop or playing Baldur's Gate 3, you don't need to play Baldur's Gate 1. Don't let me dissuade you if you're super sure you're interested in checking it out, but you don't need to. Just watch a video on it. Don't learn about Thaco and stuff unless you're a diehard. Okay. Atop the Netherbrain, is that Gale's turn? I feel like this is the one. I feel like this is the one. I believe it was on Gale's turn I made that save. Sorry if it's an ass slot, but did you finish Tears of the Kingdom? I did not, and I absolutely intend to, but it may be a little while before I get back to that because there's a huge log of games I want to play that it is on, but I have... I'm not sure it will come to fruition. I'm not sure I can figure out how to do it in the way I want to, but I have 
some ideas related to when I pick that game back up again that I want to give a little more time to gestate and see if I can find something fun. Um, Tears of the Kingdom was going fantastically and I was really loving that game and I'm very interested in getting back to it. But it is Breath of the Wild improved and it doesn't have, for me, I haven't yet while playing that game had that feeling Breath of the Wild gave me of being totally blown away. I mean, I have with some of the physics, but not not quite the same way. And so, it's it's it's. I want to find a way to make even more of it somehow. Okay. Um, you're invulnerable. Can I fucking? Where are you, Minsk? You're invulnerable. I'm invulnerable. Carlac is. Where's Carlac? Oh, Carlac's already inside. Carlex finished her turn. Oh, well, she should come out of the portal into the invulnerability. Everyone's invulnerable, or hopefully something like it. What happens if you nether resort blast right here? You, sh you should kill the nether brain, right? We've tried our very best, but it seems victory is beyond our grasp. I'm sad to say. At least victory in which we live to tell the tale we're in a Don't globe worry. of invulnerability go for it i'll handle matters from here god's willing we can probably cast slow fall from a scroll while falling too right it's been an honor it has and a pleasure a privilege a tale for the ages and if i'm being honest the very best time i've had in my entire life The globe of vulnerability isn't there anymore. Was I so shocked he made this choice that I lost concentration on it? I can probably cast it again, right? Stab them. You did. As you can sit back. You sacrificed. It was worth it. Would you like to know a thing you can do for with this. Gale's Orb earlier in the game or leave that for other times to learn? No, go ahead and tell me. I don't think I'll do like a lot of experimentation with Gale's Orb in later playthroughs. Yeah, go for it. Who was that? I agree. Prefer the vibe of Breath of the Wild, but TOTK is definitely an improvement. Nothing beats playing Breath of the Wild for the first time. Yeah. I remember the first time I saw the trailer for Breath of the Wild. I think Breath of the Wild's trailer is perhaps the greatest game trailer ever made. I haven't seen all of them, but it's the pacing of it, what they show, how they show it. Oh. Then when I got my hands on the game, holy shit, dude. Mm. Amongst the legends of the sword coast. You can detonate his orb when you get to the Illithid colony where you fight Catherick for an ending in Act 2. Of Baldur's Gate. Oh, because the brain is under... Wait, pomegranates. Am I misremembering or is that because you can see the brain there and then they leave with it before you fight Catherick? Or is it after you fight Catherick the brain leaves? Is that because the brain is there? Correct? Do you see it before or after you fight Catherick? Like, could you logic out... Oh, I, the brain is here. I'll just set this off now. Or would you have to know ahead of time? It's chilling. Okay, so you can you can see it ahead of time. I couldn't remember what order those things happen in. You're not that invulnerable. Super agree. Watch that trailer every time before playing it. Just think of the trailer makes me want to replay it again. You do it before you fight Catherick. You could also have a nasty surprise a few days later if you choose to sacrifice Gale to... Uh, to... To, to what? Boel? Boel? During Act 1? Yale says he can do it during the cutscene if he's there. Oh.
There thou art. I didn't understand this cutscene last time. I want to watch this one more time. Thy faces, gods. Thy actions, barely worthy of the name. Bane, Merkel, Didst and Ball, right? believe thy ploy would succeed? Didst believe I would not notice? Who are you? Thou sought to bolster thy strength by taking away the souls of mortals. Okay, just, just yes or no here. Pomegranates. Vanish Is it supposed to be clear and certain to people that pay close attention or know the world the of Faerun quite well who notice. or what Withers is? Gods thou may be. And that covers everything from, yeah, yeah you could piece it together to, nice he told you in Act 1, because I may have forgotten. Everyone. Yes. Pomegranates. Did he the just tell me outright at some point, and I talked over it or forgot? Or is it more like piecing it together? The death A religion check will do it in Act 1. Oh, great. <laughs> well, at least that gives me an out. Yes, it is very clear. No, 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 no. Clear to people who know the lore well. Okay. So he doesn't say it outright, but I would imagine what you mean, Sala, is that with a religion check, it's a lot more clearer. A lot more clearer. More clear. Indeed. Yeah. Now that interests me in one other thing. Where's some place just rather innocuous, nothing's really happening? Underdark. Rosymorn Monastery, Ruined Battlefield. Um. Well, actually, Ruined Battlefield is kind of interesting. Ruined Battlefield is kind of interesting. There's one document you can find in the game that makes it pretty clear. Do you want to know? Try to decide. It might be something fun to try to figure out or fail to and make up my own headcanon for in a second playthrough. It's hard to say which one is the better option. Hmm. You don't want to know now? If you play with a paladin, your first interaction with him at camp, you can do a religion check again and sense who he is as well. Save it for a second playthrough. All right, where are we standing right now? Oh, we're standing on the edge of the, um, this is where the, uh, yeah, this is the last light or whatever it's called. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Um. Oh, right, this is when you were wearing that hood because I put it on you randomly and you Go wore ahead. it for so I'm long listening. since I didn't, oh, like, I could. have you in the party for a while. I forgot you were wearing it. Do you already have the power? What happens if you just set it off randomly? Will the game stop you, or can you do it? Magic. Does he have some dialogue like, this will never work out, let's just end this. No, he says nothing? You just, just, we're, we're about to meet some new friends, and this is a, how socially awkward are you? You're good with words, they'll like you, you don't need to do this! I clicked the button, so this is a bit silly of me. Like, I made those choices, so I don't know why I'm yelling at him. Okay. Where was that? This is just after fighting him? Is this just before? Is this just before? Thank God Hydra never accidentally hit it. Not even a goodbye. Just knife. Done. Win any fight instantly. You can win and lose any fight instantly. It's a little of column A, a little of column B. Also, it completely forever fucks both columns and destroys the entire tally. Don't know if I'd use the word win. I don't think you can swap them into your party from here. That's a good point. I'm probably too deep down. Let's see where I am, how far from the end, and how far back it would be to go back where I can switch him. You can put the nether stones in a pouch and throw it off a cliff. 
Uh, yeah, we're in an area that we can't leave. Flesh rot door. This is Ketherick Thorn down there. And map. How far are we from where? Uh, I can't remember. Pomegranates, can you leave this place once you're in, or am I already in a point of no return? Time I can't remember anything ahead. about this. Like, can I run back and go back up, or at some point did I take a down that you can't take back up until the encounter is over? Can't leave? Damn. That sucks. Have a good night. Sorry, I won't get to see your improvised outro after the retelling. Sleep well, sweet dreams. Have a good one. Bad at R. Jumping down the flesh tower is one way. Jumping down the flesh tower. Well, that sounds like a euphemism. Travel the road to Baldur's Gates. This is not an exit. I don't remember anything about this place, really, other than uh, Mizora. So, oh, yeah, there's like a disconnect here or something that I can't go back through. This is a different area. Right. Sort of coming back to me. Uh, yeah, I remember Mizora fooling me in here because I was terribly, terribly gullible, given what I knew about her. Is there anything else I should see with the characters I have and so on? Is there anything else I need to be told about this game? Um, did I rate this? Yes, I did. I rated this during Monday's stream. This game is 9 out of 10. I think it deserved Game of the Year. Uh, I think Neil deserved Best Performance. I think a lot of the voice actors who were in this game could have been in contention for that. Uh, I think it deserves its accolades. I think it's earned its place in sort of game culture. I think it'll have a very long tail, but it's not 10 out of 10. It's not. It's just too glitchy, and I don't need it to be perfect, and I'm not at all upset because I can't imagine what it looks like behind the scenes in this game, what it would take to hunt down the smallest glitch and fix it and test all the other things it may have affected. I can't imagine. But Act 3 specifically just was too too glitchy for me to call it 10 out of 10. It's in a weird state where I don't want to take anything from it, but I think that's fair. Did you ever win the Jin's Grand Prize at the Circus? I did not. You rated only an A on your list, and I swear to God, I'm comfortable with that. Remember, that list is for me personally, and I thought this game would be a B minus just because it seems too too gritty and detailed. Uh, gritty in terms of like granularity, not not the scene of him carving a rune into Cazador's back. That is, but that's not what I expected to get to me. I expected the detail, the checking things, rereading things to be too much for me, but. They did it pretty well. There were a few tool tips that, like, literally, I think they just fucked up. Um, but, but on the whole, I was really impressed with how into the game I got, despite menu after menu, turn-based combat that slows things to a relative crawl compared to action games I generally feel more comfortable on stream with and stuff like that. That impressed me. But yeah, before, before I knew that was going to draw me in, I expected to give this a much lower grade even though I believed, because of all its praise, it probably was Game of the Year, and deservingly so. If you do that, leads to a fun sequence to play. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> see if I have a save anywhere near there. You did the brain puzzle here? I don't recall. So maybe not? I don't recall a brain puzzle. Your save survived like 25 patches. Pretty amazed your game isn't more broken. Fair. Right, did you ever figure out how to use the heads, and do you want to? Oh, yeah, actually, okay, that really fucking bothers me because I was certain that you could use the heads. And then when I didn't figure out how, I didn't throw them away, but I put them all in camp storage because I was like, I guess I was wrong about that. Well, maybe there's a joke I can do with the collection later. I'll put them away. And then we found that head near the end and it came rocketing back into my mind. And I was like, wait, that must mean you can do something with them. I can't, I don't want to leave that for a second playthrough, please. Pomegranates, how the fuck do you use those brains? Is there a machine somewhere? A skill you can learn? What are they for? What do you do with them? It's here. Okay. Where's here? Here where? 
There's a room here where you can put them in a machine. Am I carrying any right now to curiosity? They're all called brain, right? On, Did I already send them go. back? Oh wait, no, you're carrying them. They're not called brain, but I recognize these. They're called mind. Where do I go? Looking ahead. Room with the necromancer circle in it, I think. Do you mean this one where they all lived or this one? There was a circle on the ground down in here. Swift as my feet can carry me. It's this way. The second one? Okay. This room. Necrotic lab. Is it over here, or is it in the area I'm standing in over here? The brain puzzle is here too? Oh, that's what you meant by brain puzzle. I'd forgotten this completely. Right from this brain puzzle? Right. Wait, do you mean literally go right? What are you talking about? To the right now. Oh yeah, this is where I like found them. Was it right beside me? I think these are the first ones I found. I could have sworn I looked around here. Design. Hot. Sharp on that person. Skinned head. Did I not put any on this? Did I try to talk to you? Empty vessel. Nothing more. Lending voice to Elder Law. Use the altar? What you missed at the time? Yeah, what what did I miss? If that thing talks, I would have thought to put a O. Oh. Don't tell me I just missed this. What you missed was you put the mines in the altar in the left. I wish I hadn't asked. There were probably a few people here who didn't know that. I'd love to, thanks. Great. Sorry, no worries. No one else carrying any of them? No? So, pomegranates, the one I found in Act 3. A long road ahead. How do you use that? Is there another of these somewhere in Act 3? So I found one near the end of the game, I think. Or am I mistaken? Am I misremembering? Don't think you do? Huh. You don't? Really? I guess I saw something that looked a lot like this, but I remember thinking it had the same icon, it was something mined, that I saw somewhere... I, I really can't remember where. Okay. It was one? What do you, wait, where are you saying I did see a mind or I didn't see a mind? It was one, you just can't do anything with it. They won't be laughing much longer. Won't be any more of this. No homes in the city, watch Brevin. This Gortes fella's got an idea kind of a training camp. Don't know how it gets me into the watch, but he seems the smart sort. Okay, so each one of them is just like a little insight into someone's history that they took a brain from. Why are you floating now? Laughing. What did that happen? Won't be laughing when I'm a watchman. You find two mines on the Nautilite at the start of the game. And I assume if you bother to carry them from there forward, they have something to say? Okay, this one is fresh mind. My head hurts. Can I go back to bed, mommy? How did you get here? I live here. This is my house. Oh, this isn't going to be super helpful. <laughs> we saw a big spot. 
spiky snail that fell out of the sky. I'm just very sleepy, mummy. I wish you'd stop waking me up so much. I think I know what big spiky snail is. I, meanwhile, am never going to sleep again. You should. We can talk in the morning. The other thing we should talk about, Samantha, is this game aged me. 9 out of 10 deserves game of the year. All those things I just said, I don't take back any of it. This game fucking aged me. With how stupid I felt, the mistakes that I made that I don't even feel are stupid. Being raked over the coals for the mistakes that I made, stupid or not. But I need to decide. I feel like... I feel like when I say it aged me, lots of games suck some life out of me. Lots of games do. But not like a lot of them, it's negligible. You know, it's just part of lots of the life experiences that age you. When I say it aged me, that means at least a year. But some games have done more. In fact, let me talk to this mind, and I will show you my little personal spreadsheet of aging. It's not too polished, so, you know, but I'll show it to you and you'll see what I mean. Waking mind. Hmm. Fine bones, sharp jaw, some variety of elf, pretty enough for a flesh prison, if not the noble gets arrived. Oh, you're talking about what you're in. I'd guess you're no willing guest of the gate either. You know a lot. Perhaps we might aid one another. You're very aware. You're remarkably sane for a pickled brain. A Gisserai's mind is not so easily cracked. Our discipline was the very reason you were attacked. My order taught a psionic technique much feared by the Gake. They destroyed us for it and kept me as a trophy. I never broke, but I've spent all these centuries awake, aware. So here is my offer. Use your tadpole, erase me, and I will pass my technique on to you. I mean, a good you deal. That seems like a mercy. Eye. Oh, wait. The monk isn't telling everything. And they're a monk? I may not be able to use your technique. If you want my help, tell me the truth. All right. I... The gate did not find my monastery. I led them there. They promised me... I wish we had Lazelle here. And they gave it. I have been their rotting trophy for centuries. As her agitation swells, so does her latent psionic power. How old are you now? So we gotta decide, but before this game, before this game, I was, uh, 56. 57? I was 57? Oh my god, I can't remember my age. This is why I keep a spreadsheet. 57, I think. 57, thank you. Um, touch my mind and purge it. Reach out and purge your mind? Sure. The awareness that floods you is nothing like the tadpole. It's just tentative. Every clip you see of this game gets you more confused. The art and voice acting is really well made, though. This game's real strength is the incredible number of ways things can go. Like, every quest, major or minor, seems to have ten. I mean, I'm exaggerating a little, but sometimes, I'm sure some of them do have ten. Ways it can turn out, but not just like a different dialogue. A lot of them have real functional differences that may echo into other quests in very impressive ways. So, the breadth of outcomes and the scale. I mean, I finished the game having turned somebody into a literal god makes for incredible and confusing clips, I'm sure. So I purged her mind. Did I take something? She asked me to purge her mind. Did I get an ability? I didn't see any like, you got this. It should be like the newest thing listed here if I got something, right? I'm not sure I got something. I wasn't paying attention, but that's okay. It would have been like a monk ability, so it doesn't really matter. You've got mail. Um, I forgot earlier, somebody asked, what did I do about Raphael? I did nothing about Raphael because I thought that going through to the brain was going to be the be-all, end-all. And it turned out it was. But when someone told me, oh, for Gale to do the quest you want for his, like, ending that you've been talking about, Gale's got to be with you. you got to go there to make it. I got very confused and went, okay, I guess that means I can go ahead and I won't be committing necessarily to the end. And then when it gave me the message, I was like, fine, let's just go for it. And I went on without. I, I thought there was still a tiny little bit of wiggle time to do other things. 
that I wouldn't uh, cap off when I went forward. Um, because that was it. The big thing was I didn't realize that the crown was fucking on the nether brain. I thought you made it separate from the encounter with the... That's why. Um, and, and like I said, then once I saw I had to go forward and it was warning me like, this is it. I just went for it. But I don't know if I would have done a whole lot with that anyway, just because I'm curious to learn more about Raphael and Orpheus and Kithric Voss I don't give a shit about. But I was leaning towards not freeing Orpheus and indeed made that decision. That is why I didn't end up dealing with Raphael at all. That's why I passed on through that. I got a passive buff from the mind. It's great fun content for a second playthrough. Do Raphael like a right now? No. Time for that. Did you fright Raphael? Nope. I didn't even know that was a possibility, though that does not shock me at all. It seems pretty... Actually, yeah, yeah, they, they already set that up. For a while, I was wondering if he was something he would fight or wouldn't, but then I realized the scale of the game better, and they said that I could betray him at one point, so yeah. But no. Battle with him is amazing. You interested in other possible ends for Karlak? Um, she's unlikely to be a main part of the party in another playthrough just for the sake of variety, so sure, are there any, like, major interestingly other endings for her? She gave you Githzerai Mind Barrier, permanent advantage and int saving throws. Oh, nice. It's not just a monk-specific ability. Nice. Handy. That's good of her. Oh, I can't fly yet. We're not that person yet. Not yet. We're a vanilla little gnome still. Can everyone else make it? Starion. Not sure a Starion can do it. Nope, too high. Too high. I shouldn't have asked you to come down here. Hang on a sec. This is closer. You can do this, right? Raphael stuff is a must on your next run. You can do this! Go with Starion. You did deserve to live. There are her death endings and a way to save her. Hey, there is a way to save her. I did it. I saved her. Convincing her to go back to Avernus is actually kind of the best ending, especially if you romance her. It's like its own sequel where you and her sometimes will team up to make Zeriel's life hell, really? Dude, the way they talked about that, that sounded like she would rather die than go back there. Otherwise, I might have leaned towards telling her to do that. It surprises me that that makes it for any sort of happy ending. That really surprises me. So let's see, this game aged me by at least a year. Let's get that spreadsheet open. This game aged me by at least a year. I have to insist on that. But I am willing to listen to people who watched the pain evident on my face try to gauge if it aged me more than that or not. Because I kind of feel like it might have been two years for how long it was for the pain of losing a Starion and then the length of time I had to hear about my losing a Starion. I'm trying to decide if it might be two years. Come on, where is it? I've got multiple stream-related accounts. This is not this hard to. There we are, the Hydro Aging Process. So named since it used to be something we actually aimed to do. Okay, this is all in order, right? Yeah. Ta-da! Welcome to the spreadsheet. You won't be able to read it very well, but don't worry. I will try and make it a little bit easier for you. Let me make this bigger. The city calls out for so. Way back in 2019, I started keeping track because I had this idea of people voting on games that would age me. This, though, was just my actual birthday. For my birthday in 2019, we played Bennett Foddy. My age was 32. We were, we were essentially guaranteeing that that year took place. I had literally aged a year in time, and we were making sure my body had withered that amount and my mind had been stressed that amount. Make sense? Oh, then we start some of the artificial ones. Wow. Daggerfall in 2020, played for six and three quarters hours. I got lost in a dungeon and eventually opened the map after like 90 minutes there and just saw the dungeon. If you don't know what Daggerfall's dungeons are like, I quit, I was over. I have some other notes here like, oh, I remember, only heard the big ghosts, never saw it. I kept ending up in town at night and hearing ghosts and I never saw them. And it was tense and annoying that I never saw them because that would have been exciting, but only made it more tense. There were a lot of little things. A lot of little things. 
You made Carl like a Lithid in your first play as well for the same reason? You can never do that to her? You didn't have Carl like in your party to make her a Lithid, but if you did, that's probably what you would have done. Nerd, I love it. 100%ing the Binding of Isaac has aged you by like five years. I can only imagine. 100%ing it? I. Uh, Originally, this was done with we we triggered these aging streams back when we did them regularly with um. What are they called? What are they called? Community challenges on Twitch where everyone contributes points and you see if you can reach a goal. I got the goal very wrong, so you'll notice these happen more often than once a month for a while because I had the goal just wrong. So there was Spiral Orange, the Cortex Conspiracy. I chose the Aging Factor, Parachuting Tanks minigame, because I wanted to remember that as my touchstone for awful game design. I don't really ter recall too clearly what it was like. You're shooting tanks as they parachute down, but I think the aim was hard. Anyway, it was horrendous. Three and a half hours, aged me by a year. That's 34. Until Dawn is a good game, but those kids fucking pained me. I don't like them. Great game. The actress did an excellent job. It's a delightful Absolutely. genre of games. Those kids may be so. So all while Robobutt, or oh, are you reading ahead to Nier Automata? Yeah. Yeah, trying to like work around that on stream when that's not usually the point of my stream was rough. <laughs> Speaking of, G-String, which is not called G-String for that reason, though there are sex robots in it that you fight. G-String was horrendous. Jurassic Park Trespasser, I beat. I finished that game. And let me tell you, it's fucking awful. Oh. My next actual birthday, we played more big getting over it with Bennett Foddy. Another five and a half hours. I've never beaten that game. Night Trap, horrendous. Deadly Premonition. This is a cult classic in some people's minds. I think it's awful. Sekiro. Is this the first time? No, it's not. No, it's not. No, it's not. Where is the first one? I'm looking for... Oh, it was near? Okay. Sekiro. This is a day. A total playtime of a day. Five hours. This is the first one that wasn't for a specific aging stream or birthday stream that aged me. This is where we just started keeping track of things that aged me. Kids were the worst until dawn. They were. Dying over here. Rain World. Rain World, I kind of want to play more of, but... I got so mad by the end of that stream. FF7 Remake. I recommend it, but I nearly quit that game at the end. I love so much about that game, but some of the ending boss fights pissed me off. Parasite Eve. I had to play it twice. I don't want to explain why. It's in the highlight videos if you go watch them. And I actually think those are some of the best highlight videos I've made. Parasite Eve 1 and 2. Parasite Eve Part 2 explains why I had to play twice. Quite the list you've made? Yeah. Super Monkey Ball 1 plus 2 and Jackbox Party Pack. That was my birthday stream. Um, Honestly, I went a bit light on myself that year, but I'm willing to round up that we had confirmed a year because it was my actual birthday. Super Monkey Ball 1 plus 2 is frustrating. I was willing to accept that. Elden Ring aged me four years. All I wrote down for the aging factor was difficulty and screwing up every quest. Near Automata, repetitive combat, confusing, all while Robobutt. Resident Evil, giant spiders, totally stuck at the end. That aged me two years. I remember being so mad at Resident Evil. Lifeline for my birthday stream in 2022. Lifeline is a PlayStation 2 game you control with your voice. No, it doesn't work. Bayonetta 3. I don't want to give away Bayonetta 3, but let me say there is the, the gameplay in the game is the best of the three Bayonettas, but there comes a twist in the story that almost, when people say, oh, that ruined a character for me, that ruined a series for me, that ruined a franchise for me, I've always been the kind of person to be like, why? Can't you just enjoy the stuff before that? This is the first time I understood why something could ruin previous entries. I was so unhappy. Out of the four years, how much did Millennia age you? Oh, Millennia was like eight to ten months of that alone. Uh, Millennia did almost a year of that just by herself, I would say off the top of my head. Sonic the Hedgehog 06. It's famous for being awful. It deserves that reputation. 
Uh, my birthday last year. I need to write down the details of this one, but that was my birthday. Yeah, I forget what we played. And now, let's call this the end date. So it is April 9th, 2020. I don't have numlock on. And you guys can't even see what I'm doing. 22. How many years did I age from this? 20. Oh my god. Numlock. 2024, 4, 9, Alders, Gate, 3. Time played. Well, let's just take a little old looky here at uh, Steam. Where's my Steam? Where's Steam? Steam recorded 158.4 hours until today's stream. I probably put another 3 on there, maybe a little less. Let's call it 160 hours, okay? 160 hours. Divided by 24 is 6 and 2 thirds days. 160 minus 24 times 6. So it's 6 days, 16 hours of game time. The aging factor. Starion died. People kept talking about a Starion dying. No, we'll leave. People keep talking about that in the notes. Starion died. I forgot everything. And then the notes. I'll add a couple more. I don't really know what the notes column is for. People kept talking about dead Astarian. And I never figured out who Withers is. Those aren't everything, but the point is to evoke in my memory when I go look at this later. The, the the sense of why it aged me so much. Unsure if it's a bug or a feature. A starian is the star of this aging. Found mole though. Missed mole. Found mole eventually. We got there. Nevertheless, your skin is flawless and age is just a number, and it's what's in your heart that counts. But I always tell my friends because I'm a math nerd. Whenever they seem like they're a little bit down about this or that birthday, it's usually a round number, and so I tell them like, look. We use a base 10 system for no real reason. If we used base 20, you'd be this age. If we used base 7, you'd be that age. And I've actually found even my non-mathematical friends are often like, yeah, I guess it is sort of arbitrary. Just gonna say, Hydro, you're old. And then there's another way of approaching these issues. Yeah. So I'm thinking... I'm thinking... With Astarian, with all the jokes about Astarian, with all the legitimate anger about Astarian, with today all the frustration trying to guide me through Astarian, even though it worked, my frustration over missing that mind jar thing, all of the, all of the times that I threw something wrong, knocked someone off a ledge forgetting they'd probably just warp back up, Missing Mole, forgetting everyone's name. I feel like I want to give the game two years of aging. Do I seem out of line? Because I know I enjoyed most of the game start to finish. Does that seem like assigning it too much importance in the pain it's caused me? Do I need to down it to one or does two seem reasonable? I forgot to use Illithid Fly for like, oh, half or more the time that I had it? Not even counting from the start of the game, from when I became half a lithid to the end. More than half the time. Starting dessert, dying deserves two years by itself. Well, maybe I was a little less affected than some of you, but I was affected, I was. Starting can have one of the two years. This all seems like an issue, not a game problem. It was, but I'm still aged by it. I think we're going with two. 59 years old, and I should put playlists in for some of these. Back when they were specific event streams to age me, I would put a link to the VOD. I should put a link to the playlist now that I have complete VODs for some of them. Well, Baldur's Gate 3 joins the esteemed ranks of games like Jurassic Park Trespasser, Night Trap, getting over it with Bennett Foddy, and oh my god, I spelt shadows wrong. On the other hand, Sekiro is here. Uh, Until Dawn is here. Like, it doesn't mean it's not a quality game. It just, it's a weird list. It's a very weird list. One soul. 
Samantha, that's a wrap on the full playthrough. My first full playthrough of Baldur's Gate 3. I've got no idea when it'll come back. I would guess maybe late this year to early next year at the earliest, and that's not a promise. I kind of don't want to leave it a long, long time, though I think this game will sort of be evergreen. But I got other things I want to do first, and I want it to feel fresh again when I come back to it. Yeah, I think it's very likely we play it again, but I think it'll be a little while. Let's keep talking about what else we could play after this and Armored Core 6. We need one or two more games to go ahead and pick up. Um, yeah. Thursday, I'll be online playing Armored Core 6. Sunday, if we haven't decided what to start, maybe I'll play more Armored Core 6. If we have decided, maybe I'll start that. Or we could do something like the Pale Reach. You guys could have a couple hours to try and finish the fishing and dredge. I don't know. All this while the Elder Brain in the background feels somewhat fitting. With your memory, the game will always be fresh. Convinced beating Sekiro is your greatest accomplishment. Are we voting for this or just chatting about it? We're just chatting about it. Uh, for events, I like doing votes and stuff, but especially when we're talking about games that like I'm gonna be committing more than a week to, I like having final say. I'm pretty amenable to suggestions, but, but yeah. We're just sort of discussing. I would be happy to take your comments on what I should play, why, um, from the options I presented earlier or others. Uh, Thursday in Discord, anytime. Let me give you the link in case you're not already a part of Discord, because another thing you can do with Discord is there is a thread linked to the general chat channel, which you can find by checking the pinned messages in general or just clicking the threads icon in the general channel for submitting your Armored Core build, because I've been playing through Armored Core 6 using your builds. If you're on PC, you just need to give me a share ID. If you're on console, you unfortunately have to type up the list of parts or put a screenshot with the list of parts there because share IDs don't cross-platform. I'm sorry, it's annoying, but that's the way the system works. I'm um, in Thursday, maybe Sunday, you know, future streams of Armor Core 6, I'll be happy to use them. The only extra thing I ask is do a quick check with the spreadsheet in that thread that Otter Space is so insanely kind to keep updated, made and keeps updated, um, that I have the parts you need because the share ID doesn't work at all if even one part is missing. And it won't tell me, so I can't just like make a little change. So you may have to make a little tweak or wait to submit it until I get the right parts. All make sense? Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Community games? I mean, I'm up for doing community games sometimes. That could probably be part of, like, the pet week, cat's birthday thing I was talking about. The next special stream will probably be early May because I'm thinking of doing another big stream or a series of a few streams with a theme because May 1st is my cat's birthday. Um, one of the things I think we'll do is the Baxter birthday stream prep that we remember we made a holiday last year if you don't know what i'm talking about i will remind you or tell you for the first time we we have we invented a holiday last year and this will be the first year we're celebrating and we're going to do some prep for that that might be part of all that yeah we can do community games as part of that like streamer streams elden ring for the dlc i will absolutely be playing the elden ring dlc probably something like a week to two months after it comes out because I want to give people, A, a little time to play it themselves so that they get a little ways in and can watch me without being spoiled if they don't want to be spoiled. And B, I'll probably be in the middle of something else and I'm not going to like aim to end it at a certain point. So I'm not going to wait nearly as long as I did to play Elden Ring about a year after it came out, like 10 months. But I'm not going to be playing the Elden Ring DLC the day it comes out. For those of you on YouTube, Samantha, 90% of Twitch Samantha right now is just exclamation point fish, exclamation point fish. All right, Samantha, thank you so, so much for hanging out with me this evening. I hope you enjoyed yourself for this rather different stream. I really enjoyed seeing this content, having your help getting through it. Thank you for all the answers um, about this and other stuff I didn't go off to actually see in person things. Um, you're all lovely. You're all lovely people. Let's head over and see Rissa and have a chill evening. Rissa is playing Stardew Valley. Rissa is always entertaining. Please, please, please come over at least long enough to say hello. And if you've got time, hang out, check out her stream. I'm going to give you a link just in case Twitch leaves you behind. And for those of you on... Boom. Those of you on YouTube to follow along if you'd like. And the raid messages, I was asked to copy this, so I did. Hello, smile. There we are. 
paste that once or twice when we get over there. Dark Souls 2. Dark Souls 2. Of many hearts. Dark Souls 2. I'm in a weird place with that. I want to replay it. I've been trying to decide if I want to replay it sooner, later, with a randomizer, or just straight. Because I may remember it less even than Dark Souls 1. Which I've talked about replaying with a randomizer. Both 1 and 2 I haven't played since the first times I played them. Which was like... Six and a half years ago. But I played one twice over and two one and a half times. And one just has so many iconic parts that do still stick with me a bit. I don't know, I'm trying to decide, but I, it may happen at some point. I doubt it's going to be the next thing on my list. Okay. Hi, right, Samantha.